No, it's all about Street Fighter Five for me now that Oro's coming out. Oh my God! Oopsie poopsie, and may have accidentally streamed Monster Hunter. Why didn't you delete the evidence, Monty? Because I want people to know. Using you as an example. That's what we call hashtag content. Remember, kids, always check your tags. Yeah. You like a, you like your two minute stream, all of me. There you go. Fresh off the block, off the printing press. I will say, you're not alone. I've done that before, where I had to handle streaming duties for a party uh, tabletop mm. game once, and then like the next day I had my regular stream, and it was like 20 minutes of streaming before someone oh, was like, no. hey, you know you're streaming on the wrong channel, and I was like, ah! <laughs> you know, I, 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 with, with Connor running Gateway, like, no offense, but I'm like, this is going to happen at some point. I'm like, there's going to be a snafu at some point, and I'm going to accept it now well, before it actually just, happens. Just for, so. just for a, a, a secret bonus secret, uh, it's, it, this isn't the first time it's happened, but we, we don't need to know, we don't know, know that. <laughs> <laughs> Although now that brings up the question, what would it be like if the core four of the Unexpectables did a monster hunter hunt together? Hmm. Chaos. That's just task um, in every scenario. That's fair. Task is the monster. <laughs> Except that bow users in Rise are fucking nerfed to shit. Yeah. Wait, did they say bows? Yeah. Bows got nerfed to fuck because their highest Wait. DPS comes listen. from their melee attack. Listen, listen, all right. As a bad bow user, I'm okay with the fact that I can now heal people and give them affinity and bracing. Dude, dude just do what I did. Switch to fucking heavy bow gun. No, yeah. I'm a, a that's coward talk. Use gun with Monty. it. No, I want Monty, to be it's a gun. I want to be Legolas. Shut up. Sorry. I want to be a, I want to be a boot stick main. <laughs> they got buff. Dude, oh, I love what they did to Longsword. Oh my god. Um, Y'all gonna make me do something I'm gonna regret. They got, they got video games. But did you turn the bow sideways for an automatic kill shot? Well, if, if this was totally accurate battlegrounds, if you press the G button, you start beatboxing and hold the gun sideways. <laughs> oh my god, there's no way that's actually what happens. That's real. <laughs> yeah, that's real. That is absolutely real. Of course it is. It's the beatboxing for me. That's what sends it over the top. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Unexpectables. <laughs> yeah. Hello. 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 And Hello welcome everyone. to Movie Phone. A mo movie Phone? You call a number like, and you get to listen to a movie. <laughs> only listen to it. You don't get to watch it. You just got to hear it. Yeah, hey, speak so did Pootie Tang. No! You, you know, no. I, 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 so, I so badly want to talk about Godzilla vs. King Kong. Don't. I haven't seen it yet. I know. That's why I want to, but I can't. Was there monkey, monkey and dinosaur fight? Do not monkey ruin and monkey dino versus fight. dinosaur for me. This is I was one of this monkey? my whole life. Big monkey. I just I all all I like I I feel like I spoiled myself, but all I did was watch the Red Letter Media review. <laughs> See, I would have watched oh, it already, yeah. but I found out that LG TVs can't get HBO Max. Oh wow! So. I have to get it like on my computer first and just stream it through my computer instead of on my TV. Uh, so, yeah. Haven't done it yet. Don't worry, we're not spoiling the movie. We're just, you know, poking fun at the fact that There's we can or can't see it. it. There's a monkey you... and a lizard, no! and they do the monkey and a lizard, and they punch each other at some point. Why did you spoil it for me? And there's also a Zilla that's a god. No! That, there's that's also like someone getting pissed at me that uh, I spoil that there's a rat Then there's a Kong that becomes king. <gasps> no! Oh! I didn't know about that part, shit. No! Can't I just we, we have to be careful, though, because conversations that start with fake spoilers always end with actual, <laughs> real, legitimate spoilers. So let's. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no man. snake killed Dumbledore. God, oh, shit. Connor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, intros. Let's go. We're already late. Uh, uh, Gaijin Goomba, where can they find you? Oh, you can find me at twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba, playing the crap out of Monster Hunter Rise. Um, not too many spoils thus far. I'm not spoiling the in-game armor. Uh, I'm saving that for my brand new uh, spin-off series, Yokai Hunter Rise. It's a mix between my series, Yokai Hunters and Monster Hunter Rise, where we break down the cultural origins of all of the Yokai-inspired 
uh, monsters as well as the entirety of Kamura Village and all of the Kamura weapons. That was episode one. Boy, howdy, I didn't expect that one to go that way. Uh, episode two, we'll be talking about Grady Zuchi and its connection with Kamitachi, because you may you may know these connections, but you may not know why these connections exist, and you may learn completely different things, like I did. Uh, let's see, aside from that, uh, when it comes to streams, Little G is probably going to be streaming uh, Monster Hunter Rise himself. New game, new character, more stupidity abounds. Uh, it'll be fun. And I really... I, 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 I shit. Go ahead. I don't know if it's the spoiler, Gaijin, but I really want to see if you'll do a video on Goss Harang because that thing looks so. Of cool. course I will. Of course yes. I will. Yes. Okay. Like cool. Sam Squanch. I I'm, love I'm him. Doing, He's so cute. I'm doing, so let me put it this way: all all of the new monsters I will be at least talking about, and about two or three of the old ones I will be talking about because they okay. all have connections. Um, I want to say this: I've been playing a whole lot of Fallout seventy six. Believe that or not. Um. A lot has changed in the last three years. It's gotten way, way better. I actually saw that it is over, not overwhelmingly positive, but mostly positive on uh, street uh, at uh, on Steam at this on point. Street. On streets, hey Ryu. <laughs> uh, anywho, I've been streaming that a whole lot. I've had a lot of fun with it. A lot of people are mocking me for it. I don't care. Uh, I'm going to reward when a dev does what the players want them to do. Sorry. Um, but yeah, it's mostly just Monster Hunter Rise and 76 for the time being. Uh, we Oh, we did a chill build and stream. We build a SD super deformed uh, Gundam model kit of Yukimura Sanada. And I have like seven more historical figures that have Gundam equivalents to build. Uh, I go over all their, their history and their culture and how they affected the Warring States period. Uh, it's wild. So those are the big three things for streams and... Oh, I'm working on a Q&A video on the second channel, and it's 40 minutes long, so I'm going to have to cut it down a bit. So I'm very oh, yeah. busy. <laughs> Will there be less Q or A? It's going to be a lot more A. Oh. <clears throat> Almost playable. That's, that's West that's Virginia. Just... <laughs> uh, Zeno, where can they find you? Fuck. <laughs> that last bit got me fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, buddy. Okay, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you can find me over at twitch.tv slash Zeno, CZ Backlash on Twitter, and the Everang and Almanac on Patreon. Uh, the Patreon has actually picked up a lot because uh, for those who have actually seen the one shot that was all kobolds here on the Unexpectables, uh, if you remember one of the characters, Aloysius the Death Cleric, uh, yeah. um, He's getting his own book called Aloysius's Guide to Social Acceptance, which is just <laughs> a huge book of monsters across some varied event, uh, some varied uh, editions of D&D &D and made into as close as possible as they can be to their monster stats, but to be as balanced as possible. So you get to see him get angry at a no bard. It's pretty great. And then there's That's block stats and a bunch of feats and everything. <laughs> Zito, so, I was gonna say, can, can we have like a, a secret butter, like Easter egg in the book somewhere? Just like a. Oh, I was planning butter. on it somewhere. Okay, was gonna cool. be there. Cool. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that that's what I've been working on mostly. Uh, streams kind of lacked on the wayside, but carts. Uh, the, the normal shit, but mostly I gotta play a cart game. Uh, I have been getting back into Street Fighter Five, so maybe open to fighting other people, get my ass handed to me and act like a total jabroni for five seconds and then remember it's only game why you have to be made. It's only game why you have to be made. I, 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 I gotta say, um, every, time you, every time you touch tabs, it's just a joy. Oh, right. You saw me play that, right? Uh, that, was, yeah. that was good. Uh, tabs and Totally Accurate Battle Simulator uh, and the, uh, Totally Accurate Battlegrounds. Uh, I will divulge one other thing about the uh, book. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to like start slowly like giving people small hints about what's happening until it actually releases. Uh, mm -hmm. There is a playable Illithid class, and the, play and the character that uh, Aloysius, who is a uh, therapist, by the way. He is a Raven Queen therapist to collect souls or memories from other people. <laughs> So he has to, one of the Illithid uh, person he has to talk to is a guy who just got transformed called uh, Roy Manning. 
Uh, just, 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 you know, Roy Man. It, it was going to be G, uh, G Biv, but we thought that was too tacky. <laughs> That's me. Oh my goodness. 13 races, by the way. Sorry. But. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thank you so much for that. Uh, Mark Allen Jr., where can they find you? You can find me on twitter.com slash Mark Allen Jr. Here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming. And you can follow the adventures of my now pooping in her litter box cat bunny on Instagram Whoa. at Chonk for Life. Yes, we took her to the vet. They said she was fine, except she's a little chunky. And I was like, cool. And, uh, thank you and then for she telling me something I already box. know. <laughs> Yeah, right. no, I know. It was really funny because they pulled. It, I couldn't go in because of you know uh, protocols. Um, but they came out I to see. the car to get the carrier from the passenger seat, and the the woman who lifted her out went, "Oh, oh, hi, bunny, <laughs> you're, you're hefty." And I was I was laughing so oh. hard. But yes. Um, besides that, I got a magical box in the mail today, and that magical box contained the secrets to my lifelong dream of being a VR trooper. That's right. Oh. I have a VR headset now. Nice. Oh, so nice. I plan on setting that up soon. And I know I keep promising you guys that we'll get back to streaming soon and it hasn't happened yet. But now we can stream in VR as well, which might be just the excuse I need to get off my butt and start doing that some more. I want to be then you can, And then you can hold off on streaming VR and then play regular streams and then tell people that VR that is coming Eventually soon. I'll get VR going. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, um, gosh, other than so that, uh, I finally <laughs> potentially have the secret to streaming from my car done. So in future storm chases, I might be able to stream from the road with wow. a little bit more Whoa. Uh, uh, clarity like than just my phone. So. Are you saying we get to watch you punch a tornado finally? You can actually watch me drive my car directly <laughs> into a house, drive under the stairs and out the other side. It's going to be amazing. I can't wow. believe you're going to reenact. Here it comes! <laughs> yes. And when I'm done with that, I'll chuck a bottle of Jack Daniels into the tornado just to see if it hits the ground. Oh, my God. <laughs> Some guy that's caught in the tornado is going to be like, ah! Hey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Can I say something really quick? Because chat's giving me a hard time. Go for it. Connor's game gateway was the seal deal that made me want to pick 76 back up again. Don't blame Aww, me, blame yeah. Connor. <laughs> okay, that's all I had to say. Connor, I'm home. <laughs> Still playing. I'm out. Misery. <laughs> 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 All right, who's next? Uh, I can go. Okay, cool. Monty, where can they find Hi. you? You can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue tomorrow. Uh, the Water Temple. Do oh, it! It's not that bad. You gotta, you gotta rip go. it off. You gotta rip it I off. I know. I gotta rip it off like a band aid, dude. I want so. I wish I had someone to like hold my hand through the whole thing. Like just be my navigator through the whole fucking dungeon to get me through it. But um, I have to do it tomorrow. I it's I think about I'm like maybe there's some side quests I could do. I'm like no, I did literally all the side quests I could do to <laughs> avoid the water temple. Uh, but hopefully tomorrow, as long as nothing happens, it should be the water temple tomorrow, at least part of it. Um, and then Sunday, Monster Hunter Eyes. Uh, Connor almost killed me last week. That was uh. fun. Um, <laughs> Uh, just talking about buttholes and if everyone had a normal butthole then no one has a super but i can't remember what it was but i was there laugh. for that yeah i was <laughs> thinking i had a mouthful of tea in my mouth and i was trying not to inhale liquids um and also big announcement um for those of you guys maybe there's some people here from this um yesterday i we had our first session of the arcadum um pride of the night wolf game uh, it is a dm all dm professional dungeon master game uh, I'm uh, along with Brett Ultimus, uh, Joe Fudge, Joe Cat, uh, and Cyfri, and it's run by Arcadum over at the Arcadum channel. They're kind of a big Twitch D and D channel. Uh, I'm there, and I'm a player. I'm playing, I think, for around ten to eleven sessions. Uh, I'm playing Tori, who's a Beastmaster Ranger, and I'm really leaning into the Beastmaster thing. Uh, we had our first session yesterday, and it was really, really fun, and I'm having a good time with that. So definitely come and check that out. I actually did see some Unexpectables fans in the uh, in the chat. When I went back and watched some parts, so it was really nice to see some friendly faces. Um, so yeah, that's all for me. 
Looking at you, chat friends. Chat friend. I think I saw Addis Soul there, and I, I saw I definitely saw Shahalem because there was frog spam. Uh, and I saw a few <laughs> other people I recognized as well. Frog. I was there for I was there for half a second, but then I had to go do something. Then, so I was I was I was there I was there during the uh, the Jar Jar Gecko scene. I stayed I stayed there just just long enough for Monty to introduce me, me to go yeah unexpectables in the chat and then leave <laughs> and then leave. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm actually I'm, I was actually watching the uh, the episode before we got started here just a little bit, uh, but yeah. Um, Edward Bosco, where can they find you? Oh, uh, they can find me at Ed Bosco via on both Instagram and Twitter, and then right here on Twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco. Excellent. What's a cool thing uh, you did this week? How'd your Sunday thing go, dude? What Sunday thing? You said you had a Sunday thing. Oh, the pay-per-view? Yeah, it was fine. <laughs> Just okay. <laughs> here, let me give you this perfectly placed serving. Boop. And you I, let the ball. Uh, but cool. that okay, okay. I, that's a cool thing I did this week. Yeah, Bosco, uh, I saw. Bosco I was like the I, epitome of that of the the neutral dudes from Futurama. I saw a little bit of it. Uh, it, was, it was they had some really cool video packages on there uh, while I while I was tuned in. There's some really neat stuff going on over there. Twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco. Uh, and Kurt had to step away for a second, but you can find him at Twitch.tv slash Takahata 101. And I believe on Twitter at the same place, you can catch him doing VTuber stuff. Uh, he's a virtual anime guy working at a bar, uh, doing all sorts of crazy stuff, playing Evil Geniuses 2. Uh, it's got MNW, obviously, uh, Multiverse Nexus Wrestling. Uh, has a bunch of funny uh, 2K19 wrestling going on there. Uh, and he is also playing in a game with Arcadum, but I don't think that's started yet. They've had Session Zero, I believe. I uh, don't know when those are starting, but uh, yeah, uh, I believe that is... Bosco's in that too as well. Yep. Yeah, Bosco's in there yeah. too. Yeah. I, I can't wait no to watch that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, I believe that's it for him. And you can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Double. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, played some tabletop wargaming on tuesday played warhammer 40k 9th edition uh i did a twitter poll to see what i should play and you picked the towel <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, uh, what's wrong with I, the towel i was very <laughs> i was very much out of my comfort zone uh playing the towel what's wrong well, with the towel well don't laugh too hard because i won uh <laughs> what were you, what were you fighting? they don't lose yeah, uh, tower, uh, tower, pretty, pretty strong boys with their drones and their stuff. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, fish Overwatch, exactly. <laughs> that's the, <laughs> that's what that game boiled down to. <laughs> no melee, only shoot. <laughs> uh, next week, uh, we might actually be planning a persistent campaign that's going on on Tuesday, so we're gonna have to. See if we can get people involved in that, but that's uh, a little bit far off. Fridays are Friday Fun House, where I just play whatever I want, and whoever decides to show up shows up, and we play a lot of fun, funny games. Um, probably gonna be playing some Valheim with uh, Lanny Pator and Boobs McBalrog. Cool. Um, Saturday, playing through the Yakuza series. Uh, we just beat Kiwami Two, and now we're moving on to Yakuza Three Remastered, and that's been an experience. Uh, I'm being transported back to uh, our Lord's year of 2009, and who oh boy, does it feel like it? <laughs> uh, yeah, the going Connor. from going th what? I was gonna say I thought up a really, really good Dead House Sonata pun. May I speak it? Yeah, go for it. Okay. So in uh, yesterday we talked about Yukimura Sanada. He wears red armor. He's exceptionally like over the top strong and, and kind of violent. So you could say so you could say he's a red Kraus Sanada. 
That's you the most me, Gaijin uh, Goomba joke I've ever heard in my life, and I uh, love it. And that's, and that's what I'm doing on Saturdays. Uh, <laughs> Sunday, uh, I'm, right I'm playing response. more Monster Hunter Rise with Monty. It's going to be a lot Yay. of fun. Yeah. If we're yeah. Not, he's not oh, murdering sorry, Goomba, monsters, he's throat. trying to murder me, and it's oh. great. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Though, though, like last night with the monkeys, that that was fucking. Yeah, but then we had Turtle Fuck Boy, and that killed me. Oh, Whoa, right. Right. Oh, Turtle Boy! Yeah. I feel like Turtle I'm missing boy. out on a huge. Experience that is a story right that is too long for me to get into <laughs> right now. <laughs> just this sounds just, a situation that's far too turdly for the Turtle Club. Just <laughs> turtle just club. Google Turtle Boy, and you'll have all of your answers. But do it uh, after the stream. Do the it after story, the stream. The story is amazing. Anyway. Um, oh my god. Be sure to check out Dead House Sonata. So, Spiritual. So, so that was comedic and horrifying at the same time. Anyway. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> Dead House Sonata it doesn't have any turtles as far as I know. But it does have... Uh, a bunch of undead races that you can play as to fight the living. It's a spiritual successor to the Legacy of Cain series, and uh, I highly recommend you get out and go check it out. Uh, and if you haven't already, uh, be sure to follow that link that Nightbot just posted in the chat to pick up a Founders Pack. Uh, some of that money gets thrown back to me, and it supports uh, this game that I believe in highly. Um, thank Sorry, you all so much who have already... Uh, the link that just got posted in the chat by Nightbot. Do you want to... You just, you just, you're going to kill the meme of the link okay cool it's fine it's, fine. <laughs> it's right there here it is turd don't you don't you turd me you're not even supposed to be in the chat right now uh also be sure to check out my uh dms guild page where i just released the uh predator rogue and the passion domain cleric and i am working on uh what i'm calling at the moment the hellfire soul sorcerer uh sort of an infernal fiend based uh, sorcerer's origin that uh has a lot of really nutty rules uh i, I i'd be giving it i'd be giving too much away if i said anything right now but let's just say uh this is the most out there thing i've done i think i tried to differentiate it from the fiend warlock and i think i went a little too far <laughs> but uh hopefully uh you'll see what i mean when it releases either later this month or early next month um that's it for me specifically. Uh, now it's time to plug our wonderful sponsor, Die Hard Dice. Hey! Uh, cool. I'm going to buy dice. Hey. I'm out. I wasn't ready. I'm not prepared. Hold on. Retake it. Re redo. Redo. Okay. Okay, now I'm good. I'm ready. Now it's time for our wonderful sponsor, Die Hard Dice. Oh! Oh, oh. During our uh, During our wonderful um, B&E stream, our one shot uh, last Saturday, I rolled a lot of diehard dice. Uh, it's the first time I got to roll my diehard dice in a long time, and it felt great to roll those dice. Uh, if you like polymer or metal dice, you can get them in any sorts of shapes and sizes that you want. Uh, you can get carrying cases and dice trays to keep not only your dice, but your rolling surfaces safe for years to come. Uh, wonderful magnetic design that is uh, sleek and portable. Uh, absolutely fantastic products that we highly believe in, uh, and great staff to work with as well. Yeah, they're really and, nice. And they've got some interesting stuff coming down the pipeline that we can't talk about, but be on the lookout for that. Also, be sure uh, if you go to dieharddice.com, use the affiliate code uh, expect APR uh, to not get financing, but to get 10% off your <laughs> order price when you go to die <laughs> fucking <laughs> Mac DK up <laughs> in, the, in the chat. <laughs> Uh, uh get 10 percent off uh your order at dieharddice.com uh i had something else i think that was it actually no yes uh no uh by the way uh the word discount is misspelled in our little perp right there uh -oh. okay oh is it listen look I'm don't, sure it's, don't... Spelled like it's the savings. most discounted of discount letters it, you know, it's so discounted, there's no S in it. That's how much of a discount you get. <laughs> well, it's a die no count because of Die Hard Dice. Yeah, because, because an, S, an, S with a line, an S with a line through it is the dollar symbol, and you, you have to spend less of that, and that's why the S isn't in the word discount. Exactly, mm -hmm. thank you. This is the most corporate reach around which <laughs> <laughs> I'd be All right, great. You're going to right. have that much time, Connor. I'm so All sorry. Right. We need to get started here pretty quick. That's, a lot of, so. that's fine. I'll 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 do some cutoffs. All right. 
We love you guys. Uh, we it, love you so much. Thank you so much for all the support. And acceptable name. Thank you for the year. I've been subbed for a year. What the? SSF Shadow 101. Thank you for the two months or 11 months in a row. Uh, Parsnips Dandy. Thank you for the two months of Prime subage. Almost a year for me. Sub to this channel. Love what you guys do. Magic and Indigo. I miss Kirby Morrow. Thank you for the uh, 100 bits. Demon Shark 666. Thank you for the one year. Zenta Wins. Thank you for the two months of Prime subage. Magic Ninja Go, I miss Kirby Morrow. Thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, Atomic a, a, Atomica Master, thank you for the Prime sub. Flame Revenant 21, thank you for the 100 bits. Death Destroy 119, thank you for the three months. Peg Like Bob, thank you for the 500 bits. Awesome name. Seems, seems like I'm going in for surgery soon. This will be my 19th surgery. Wow, you guys have helped me get through so many of them uh, through all of your projects. I just wanted to say thank you. Well, thank you and good luck with your surgery, Peg Like Bob. Yeah, oh my yeah, gosh, yeah. I hope that goes well for you. Dumbledoreus, thank you for the four months of Prime <laughs> subage. Don't forget to talk about Dead House Sonata. Don't worry. <laughs> I'll never forget. Uh, oh, I just dropped something. Uh, Gwen Ninja, thank you for the 11 months. Uh, Daniel Bonin, thank you for the 11 months as well. Uh, Nene 2021, thank you for the seven months. Excuse me. Chris Godey, thank you for the seven bits. The seven, uh, the the seven. Thank you for the one thousand bits. My first bit drop. Yay! Thank you so much. Renfield eighty eight. Thank you for gifting five tier one subs to the community. Puffer six. Thank you for the ten months of prime subage. Nene twenty twenty one. Thank you for the one hundred bits. Row the bard. Thank you for the nine months of prime subage. Uh, Verdian winter. Thank you for the one thousand bits. Hype for plane of earth. Yeah. Uh, Algi and Ep. Thank you for the twelve months of prime subage. Ashandarai. Uh. Zero one zero. Thank you for the two thousand eight hundred bits. The, if the unexpectables brought some allies with them to the Earth plane, to the fire plane, it could be like the scene from the Fairly Odd Parents, where the cavemen put out the fires by throwing rocks. <laughs> oh my God, it's genius. Joe Mojo, thank you for the one hundred bits. White Fang nine zero one eight. Thank you for the two months of Prime subage. Baz Dog twenty five. Thank you for the two hundred bits. Uh, Man of Many Faces. Thank you for the four months. Uh, barrel of bears thank you for the 1000 bits a barrel of bear shaped bears for all of you hope tonight's session goes well and thanks for getting me interested in tabletop gaming absolutely thank you so much for the 1000 bits flustered bun thank you for the 1000 bits as well I forgot to do my Wednesday unexpectables doodles the ritual has been broken but you guys are on earth and promptly were eaten sounds about right Blonde Man oh. Cat Snake, thank you for the 12 months of Prime Subage. Uh, Kitty Cat Gundam, thank you for the 100 bits. Argent Lyal, thank you for the 300 bits. Uh, Drago Soon, thank you for the six months. Just Some Undead Dude, thank you for the two months. Nice, as you uh, do. Zenta Wins, thank you for gifting three tier one subs to the community. Blackfoot Fair, thank you for the elite bits. A monkey and a lizard walk into a bar. The bar collapses at the end. Hmm. Uh, ATLA Gamer, thank you for the 12 months shadow the rampage thank you for the 12 months as well flustered bun thank you for the nine months uh alexander thank you for the two uh, 10 months of prime subage uh maddie rnz thank you for the seven months uh soul raven thank you for the 500 bits uh zilbon thank you for the five months twitcherberry thank you for the 600 bits Cryven, thank you for the 500 bits jm007890 thank you for the 10 months just a mud dead dude, thank you for the 1000 bits again. Authbreaker John, thank you for the 100 bits. Atomica Master, thank you for the 510 bits. Smooth Enigma, thank you for the 12 months. Mr. Insecure, thank you for the 100 bits. Odinson, thank you for the 500 bits. Dr. Swiss, thank you for the sub. Royal Renegade, thank you for the 10 months. Lagon Lagonza, thank you for the 500 bits. Muscle Wizard 1, thank you for the 12 months. Nice. Uh, Money. Yeah. I know. I know. Yeah, flips. Uh, thank you for the four months of prime subage. JM zero zero seven eight nine zero. Thank you for the one thousand bits. Gauze twenty one. Thank you for the one hundred bits. Sambod. Thank you for the two months of prime subage. Royal Renegade. Thank you for the five hundred bits. Foxley Foe. Thank you for the ten bits. Bat Shadow. Thank you for the ten thousand bits. Woo! And listening to the thank entire you. Unexpectables while I work third shift at a grocery store. Almost caught up with a few months, uh, within a few months. Uh, absolutely love this campaign. It's put a lot of smiles on my face to keep me from getting bored. 
I look forward to re-listening to the entire campaign again as I wait for more episodes. Well, you should probably watch the Prince of Shooting, but also get away. <laughs> but thank you so much for the uh, 10,000 bits, dude. Foxley Foe, thank you for the 10 bits. Uh, pseudonym, thank you for the 10 months. Cosmosis45, thank you for the 10 months of Prime Subbage. Iron Atlas, thank you for the 500 bits. A Broken Tabaxi, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Doctor, <laughs> Doctor Communist 007, thank you for the 100 bits. Mm -hmm. Uh, Azriel Mike, thank you for the 250 bits. Zenlita, thank you for the 300 bits. Flustered Bun, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, MSU Bill, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Yuki Usagi, thank you for the nine months or 12 months total. Uh, Lynx Flame, thank you for the 300 bits. Zenlita, thank you for the 1,000 bits. C Crackles Flowery Nips, thank you for the sub. <laughs> 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 That is somebody's Twitch name. They go to some dreams, and that is the name that they have. I they, will own that. They got, they get one, and they changed it to that. There you go. Wow. <laughs> thank you for the sub. Uh, JM007890, thank you for the 500 bits. Uh, Blackwing Hellkite, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Get to the end here. Darth Moss, thank you for the 4,077 bits. Or no, thank you for the 100 bits. 44077 is the numbers at the end of your name. Darkstar Dara, thank you for the sub. Jack DeCrow, thank you for the 500 bits. Defective Sheep, thank you for gifting 10 tier 1 subs to the community. Dice Ruler, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Gauze 21, thank you for the 100 bits. Faye Raven, thank you for the 12 months. Volk 551, thank you for the 69 bits. Nice. A Happy Nobody, thank you for the 10 months of Prime Subbage. Okazar, thank you for the 8 months. John John 230, thank you for the five gifted subs to the community. Darkstar Dara, thank you for the 1,500 bits. Ed765 Super, thank you for the 100 bits. Blackbolt147, thank you for the 1,100 bits. Uh, Christopher Zurin, thank you for the four months of Prime Subbage. And finally, Resting Birdface, thank you for the 500 bits. Uh, All right, oh you guys boy. ready? Yeah. <gasps> Bye, chat. <Yeah. laughs> Let's do this. Okay, I'm ready. As, as if I were a man named Brutus. Okay. At two. So. When last we left our heroes, Tass, the Cobalt Ranger, Panic, the Tiefling Bard, Remy, the Kenku Fighter, Borky, the Orc Barbarian, Freckles, the Kenku Rogue, and a new found friend in Seika, the Fire Ganassi Monk, the party has now entered the Earth Plane through a wet and watery portal. Now in the expansive lands of the Earth Plane, the party is searching for the Plane's Earth Ganassi leader, Vanguard Jade. After wandering through rolling plains, meeting timid horse-shaped elementals, the party made their way to monolithic spires bursting from the Earth, the home of some curious and ravenous Zorns. The Zorns, detecting the smell of fine metals and rich gemstones, approached the party, asking to be fed through a generous hand. Seeing the potential in the Zorns, the party asks them a plethora of questions, eventually negotiating a deal where the Zorn take the party to the Earth Ganassi of the elemental plane of Earth. With a temptation of gemstones, the Zorn agree, but unfortunately for the party, the path to the underground caverns requires to crawl them into the maw of the agreeable Earth elementals for them to utilize their Earth Glide movement. Now deep underground and moving fast, we return to our party in their rumbling and stuffy and claustrophobic transportation. So the one thing you regret to remember as you are traveling in this sort of encased thing is you're able to breathe. There is some air that kind of makes its way in. The problem is moisture can't escape from this space. Um, and as you guys are inside of these sort of, you know, the insides of the Zorn and you're traveling fast, um, Task, you don't have much of, the, much of an issue. Remy and Greckles, you don't have much of an issue. Actually, I think it's going to be just Borky and Panic again. You guys are getting sweaty, and it's getting really humid inside of the mouth of the Zorn. Is it getting hot? All of you, it's getting hot, yeah. It gets warm over time. I'm but it's it's hot. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're fine, but don't <laughs> brag about it. Uh, pan there Panic is at, at most uncomfortable and displeased by the situation. <laughs> This is not an ideal traveling thing. It is the most uncomfortable you've ever traveled in anything. It's bumpy. You're like smacked around on occasion from wall to wall. Even you task with your newspaper, you're licking your, you know, your tongue and going through it. Occasionally your head gets slammed side to side as there's a sudden lurch and movement with the Zorn. Damn kids. 
After about 30 <laughs> minutes or so, at this point, Don't make Borky me turn and the panic. Zorn around. <laughs> uh, panic and Borky, you guys are dripping with water. Like you are actually like wet from your own like humidity and your own breath coming off. And eventually you guys feel as the rumbling stops and you feel almost like the canter of a horse on the inside. You kind of flip side to side and then eventually the top mouth opens up and you see a subtle kind of oceany blue glow. Huh. Huh. Is it time to get out? Oh, I, I really hope so. <coughs> As you guys kind of crawl out with your hands and peek out past the teeth, you see a somewhat small cavern, and the entire inside is like a geode, but it's these glowing blue stones that kind of form these crystalline shapes and fill the space with almost like an eerie moon-like glow. The cavern is cold, which is a shock for those of you who are sweaty. Uh, for the rest of you, it's also like kind of a shock to the system as you've gone from, you know, humid warmth to just sudden dry coldness. Oh, I for hate those, it. Uh, Panic, you are just kind of spat out by the Zorn. Like he kind of flips on his side and just kind of like, almost like a bucket, like thrusting stuff out of a bucket. You're almost tossed out onto the ground. The rest of you guys are like, the hands kind of reach in for some of you to try and get you out because you're not leaving fast enough and you're kind of grabbed and brought out and placed on the ground. Oh yeah. Rude. <coughs> Uh, hey, at least we made it. <coughs> yep. The leader I cast kind of press digitation to clean myself off and dry myself off, and I just lay there. The Sleep. leader kind of pads over and goes, nah, "We take break here," and they kind of all huddle off, and then you watch as they begin to just like rip off parts of these gems and just start to eat them, and so you guys are left in this cavern by yourselves. There was a blue glow in here? Yeah, all the crystals are like these kind of quartz looking crystals and they glow kind of this, it's not super like, you know, spotlight and like intense, um, but it is like a subtle glow. Um, and it's know. enough to fill the space with uh, with with light. Mm -hmm. Does it look familiar? Uh, roll a nature check. Oh boy. Or it's actually not my worst skill. Oh, Jesus, I already rolled the nature foot. Hey, it's pretty good. Turn you in. Um, it doesn't remind you the way that it's formed. I'm assuming you're thinking of the Undersun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look like the Undersun. The Undersun was way more concentrated, way more intense. This is way more subtle, similar to like a bioluminescent mushroom, but in a rock instead. Um, hmm. What would it take to carve a piece off? Ah, that's what I was about to do. That would be a strength or athletics check. Probably athletics. Let's fucking do this. With what tool do you attempt to do this with? Whoa. Oh, well then, he gets it. Uh, I was my like, bare hand. <laughs> <laughs> I was, sure. I was, I, I was going to uh, attempt to use a crowbar because for prying things, I think oh, I get yeah, yeah. advantage. I also um, have, uh, I also have, uh, I think. Oh god, I, I still have it. I have a pick. Okay, perfect. Yeah, you guys. <laughs> While the rest of you guys kind of take a breather, uh, you watch as Greckles and Tass just go like at, to town. Uh, Tass, you managed to get a reasonable piece of chunk of this gemstone. Um, yeah. Looking at it and with the nature check, it appears to be magical in some nature. Definitely some sort of primordial magic runs through this. Value-wise, it might not be that valuable. Um, you've seen similar stones in alabaster, in like you know, arcanist chambers and things like that. It can be used as a light source, um, but it's nice. It's a really nice gemstone. It doesn't emit a whole ton of light. If you want like a ton of light, you'd have to get like a big chunk, and at that point, you'd have penalties. But like a little piece, like you know, it's oh, almost like a, a um, yeah, it's like a trinket. It's yeah, really this is trinket money. worthy. I, that's a, yeah. that's what I wanted out of this. It's really pretty. Make really nice jewelry, that's for sure. Hell yes. Um, Seika, roll a perception check for me. Oh boy. <laughs> Twelve. Oh. Okay. Actually, I need to grab my Zorn stats really quick. Uh oh. Uh oh. Angry Are they trying Zorn. to eat me? <clears throat> they may not want to share with with Task and myself. Uh oh. Sorry, one second. I should have had this prepared. 
Where are you? There you are. Oh, okay. So that's just that. All right. As you're kind of like, you know, watching Task and Greckles kind of go to town, keeping your eyes on Greckles in particular, Seika, you hear Terran being muttered in the other corner as the Zorn are kind of ripping off giant chunks of this gemstone. Uh, you hear one go, just leave them here. And if they don't want to be here, then they give us gemstones. You hear another one goes, no, no, they will give us gemstone if we do a good job. And they're like, you watch the other one goes, they've been stingy so far. Why take them further? They know dig, trap them here, make them give gemstones. You watch the leader kind of turns and goes, no, it's wrong. They will give us gemstones, I promise. You just kind of hear them muttering back and forth. How long has it been since we started this journey? You still have tongues up if you're curious about that. Eh. You guys have you guys have been traveling for 30 minutes, so it hasn't been a terrible amount of time. But you do notice the ones that had Borky and Panic in them are seem very disgusted and they're like trying to like they're like wipe it out and they're like wiping out the water because they're not used to it. <laughs> a big mouthful of sweat. Yeah, it's gross. Um I'll kind of uh I'll I'll I'm not going to say saunter over, but I'll walk over very calmly and uh, with my typical smile on my face uh, and uh, addressing the Zorn. I assure you, we are good to make good on our promise. If you, you are watch, yours. You watch as one Zorn smacks the other goes, See, they hear us, idiot. And they like kind of a couple that <laughs> shuffle away. The leader turns and goes, You give us gemstones. We get you to Earth, Ganassi. Promise. Promise. He nods. Kuriyami-san. Yes. Give them each one of these. Uh, there are six of them, Monty, you said? Uh, there's seven of them. Seven. <coughs> Here. Oh, well, in that case, nothing. No, no. Um, <laughs> I'm going to give... Uh, I know it's not their favorite, but we're having, we're having a uh, in-between travel snack, so I will give them uh, seven of my darts. It is metal is metal, if that matters. Okay. I was, yeah, I was they... about to say, fuck that one guy in particular who said leave them here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you hand off the seven darts, and they all they all pass them around to each Zorn. They definitely share, which is interesting, mm -hmm. uh, and they immediately gobble it up. They definitely are, like, chowing down on these rocks. They don't seem to be that satisfying to the Zorn. Um... They Do they like prefer... the darts more than the rocks? Yes. Oh, 100%. The moment okay. they get the dart, it's just like, I don't really eat that. And they go back to just like shoveling. It's like, you get the sense that eating these glowing stones for them is like maybe like eating like just ground up corn. Like it just doesn't really have much in terms of Ugh, taste corn or substance. Oh. Yeah. It's, like corn, it's, it's like the fucking, uh, the, the rice cakes. It's just like, you bite Ooh, into one, you're like, delicious. Delicious. <laughs> Well, if they're flavored right, yes, but it's like it's like eating like uh like unsalted like saltine crackers equivalent. Like, ah! that, that, yeah, so that's all you're eating. That, it's like the, cream of wheat made with water. The uh yeah. the, the darts were meant more as a uh as a um sort of not charisma. Uh a token just, of good faith. Yeah, token good faith. That's a good yeah. way to put it. Yeah, you do notice that they like the leader kind of looks the other two that were kind of being, you know, like a little not as nice and like they kind of skirt away and they eat their darts and they go back to eating the wall uh and after a while after they've eaten a bit and you guys have had a chance to kind of clean yourselves off they come back to you and uh, assuming nobody laments does anybody resist getting back into the zorn nope as long as we okay. get where we need to go no yeah. i'm just gonna try and make myself as uh, make myself and borky as comfortable as possible when getting back in yeah, you uh, actually go into different Zorns because the ones that already had you like kind of give you right, stick guys. So tag, so <laughs> tag out. Tag out. Yeah. Fair enough. Tag out. Ah, uh, you guys. Ooh, crawl. Here's a question: If mm -hmm. I go in one of the ones that previously had uh, Borky or Panic, can I like steam out the inside? You could try, try if you all. want to. Yeah. Ooh. Without hurting the Zorn, obviously. <laughs> weird, yeah. weird mouth sauna. Yeah. All right, you guys all crawl into your respective Zorns. The mouth closes up. Again, you're back in that claustrophobic experience, except for you, Tass. It's cozy. Um, and again, you guys feel that gentle rumbling, almost like being on a train or a car as you guys descend back into the earth. Time Just passes. speaking. <laughs> we hit turbulence. <laughs> <laughs> As you guys begin to move, suddenly everything stops. 
you guys, like, you can feel the motion, then it's, like, suddenly as if the car has just stopped, and the Zorns kind of stop, and you're, like, nothing's happening. And you're not Everything being, okay? Your aren't opening. As you say that, I need everybody to make, I'm gonna say, inside the Zorn, dexterity saving throws for me. Oh, oh boy. my god. Yay! 16. 21. I have a plus uh, in this, and I rolled a 14. 14. I will roll for Borky. It's a 20 for Remy. Nice. That's pretty good. You know, dexterity saving throw. The My most dexterity plate mail wearing bird inside of a sword. There's no danger sense, oh. so. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, Seika and Borky, everybody else is. Oh, wait, no, sorry. Uh, everybody but Borky is fine, but you are. Suddenly, as it's totally still, the entire inside begins to shake you guys. Like, like as if someone's grabbed a can and just started shaking violently. <laughs> you guys kind of press yourselves to either side of the Zorn's insides and kind of hold on without taking any damage. Uh, Borky is going to take some bludgeoning damage from the inside. So I'm just going to write that in real quick and roll it. I don't know. <laughs> so, there we go. All right. So as it rattles, there's again some stillness. And you're like, what the fuck was that? And then we guys continue forward as if nothing oh. happened. Oh, uh, anyone who wants to can make a nature check. Sure. Uh, sure. I'm not? guessing that was an earthquake with a nat 20. <laughs> with an Ooh. 8. I rolled okay. a 10. I'll uh, do it too. <laughs> <That's your word>. <laughs> <laughs> what is nature? <laughs> it's oh, like God. It's just a tr tree shows up. What the fuck is that? Um, <laughs> Greckles, it makes sense because you're from an area where, the, where earthquakes are kind of frequent, which is mm -hmm. the Eastern Isles. Um, that was an earthquake. It was a very violent earthquake, too. Um, given that you're on the elemental plane of Earth, makes sense. I mean, yeah. that's kind of the birthplace of earthquakes in lore. <clears throat> um, but yeah, that was, if you had been outside in that, that would have been pretty rough. Um, um do the Zorn seem, like, sh uh, shooken or disturbed, or is this pretty, like, average, everyday stuff? You don't know, because you're inside of them, so. Uh, I, yeah, I didn't know if they, like, shook or anything like that. They seem to have stopped before it happened. That's you get that sense. interesting to know. Like, if they have some kind well, of they, sense. They probably have tremor sense, I'm, I'm going to assume. Hmm. Another hour passes, and at this point, oh. panic, you're like, <gasps> like, it's hard to breathe. The air is really stuffy. Can, can and... I can I keep presentation up to at least keep myself comfortable or semi-comfortable? Semi comfortable, you kind of try and keep the humidity down, but even then, like I can, can, I can chill, warm, or flavor one cubic foot of non living material for one hour. Okay, um, yeah, you can make it cooler, but it's still uncomfortable, it's still a tight space with a very lack amount of okay. air coming in. It's uh, not cozy for mitigate, anybody. mitigate this as much as possible. Would, would putting on the frog hemoth apparatus help? I uh, um, would definitely try that. Honestly, it wouldn't stop the humidity, um, and the breathing would be probably, like, about, well, like, actually could improve about a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Just in case. You could. If, been, it's, if you've ever been in a sauna and tried to breathe, it's sort of like that, I imagine. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like that. It's a little just. less intense, but it's just really uncomfortable. And you're fully clothed, too, and armored, so it makes it even worse, because, like, oh, you know, your skin is sticking to the leathers and the plates, and, like, you know, every time you breathe, you can feel, like, you know, your body kind of distend into the, the sweaty, wet armor, and it's really uncomfortable. It's it's like go it's like going to Maine for vacation and packing really, really warm, but then realizing you're going in the summer. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> it's like after, going to Houston. After a grueling hour and a half, you guys feel as, again, the kind of comes to a stop, and you feel that same waddling sensation as the tops open up and immediately the moment the air hits you you're like yes <laughs> you guys stumble out and you've hit solid ground and the zorn all seem fine 
they seem completely com completely content. The same one that had panic in kind of like spits you out and turns to the other one and goes, I hold him longer. I'm stronger. And the other one just like, him tastes bad, not my fault. And they kind of argue back and forth a little bit <laughs> about, you know, handling things. All right. I don't know why, but I'm reminded of one of the Care Bears movies. <laughs> all right. All right, Panic. Let's make sure they're paid. <coughs> Yeah. You watch you watch as the leader steps forward and kinda goes he points down the tunnel and he goes, Earth Ganassi that way. We save you from earthquake too. We are good Zorn. Hungry Zorn too. You keep promise. Absolutely, I will keep my promise. Uh one last insight to see if he's telling the truth about that tunnel. Yeah, I'm... absolutely. Oh wait, I'll 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 recast tongues. Fuck it. Yeah. Um and insight to see if he's hacking with me. <laughs> hacking? 24. He is not lying to you. Without a doubt, he is being honest with you. Based on the conversation that Seika overheard, this, this Zorn believes in your honor, which is kind of interesting for an Earth Elemental, um, and he doesn't seem to want to, you know... He had his chance, and he didn't take it that one time, so, like, why would he take it now? And he very clearly is not trying to do it again. Uh, Bonnie? Right. Yep. I give them the rest of my duplicate arrows, which is 132, the silver ones. Okay. So you throw that on a pile. What else are you guys yep. giving them? Um, um, I will give them 70 gold. Okay. Um, so there's that. I will also give two extra darts for the two that carried me personally. I'll okay. drop down. I'll drop down 20 darts because I have 43. Okay, you guys just dump out a bunch of darts. You just kind of grab all the hobgoblin darts and just toss them into the pile. They're less nice. Oh, wait, I no have poisons? a lack of understanding of true value, so I'm going no, to drop 250 good. gold onto the pile. Okay. Oh my god. They weren't poisoned. No, they're no not. they weren't. They're not poisoned, though. No. Um, do they seem satisfied with what they see so far? They seem interested, but the leader does look up and go, I promise gemstones. All okay. right. Um, I have three zircon and four polished blue quartz. And four polished blue quartz. That that's that's seven. That's seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We'll throw those down. Uh, three zircon and four polished blue quartz are gone. Okay. You watch as the leaders aren't splits the pile up evenly into like seven different meals. It's kind of weird. It's like you know when you're a kid and you make mud pies and you like put the cherry on top. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> he watches this one Zorn like snaps off the the wooden arrowheads as if he's like you know working with like a carrot or something, and he piles everything up, makes it look really <laughs> nice, and then step back. And the leader kind of turns. He goes, "Go to the village. If you see us again, we help you. More gemstones, so eat, brothers." And they just all immediately just chow down on the stuff <laughs> we gave them. They like you a lot. Cool. Yeah. Hooray. Also, fuck. My Let's take them back. back to the material world. <laughs> I'm fucking shot there! Everyone thinks I'm an asshole! <laughs> hey, did you know there are way more gemstones in the no, I, uh... I mean, I mean, should we tell them about the place literally fucking titled The Material Plane? Why would you destroy the entire ecosystem like that? You know, seven Zorn of the entire ecosystem. Come on. So you don't know how quickly they propagate. Uh... You do know that there are Zorn already in the Underdark. They kind of occupy that space as oh, well. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Well, These Zorn do look on. different. They're much bigger than the ones you saw, uh, but not by much. What's one? <laughs> one. <laughs> one. All right. So, uh, marching order, I guess? Yeah. Oh, boy. I can probably be in the front if need be. Also, I'm worried about the communication. Track. Something fell off my gosh dang thing. Uh, I would, I would like to take somewhere in the middle because I do not have dark vision. I would like to be in the middle as well because I am, I'm a mage. I, I guess I am front then because I have the darkest vision. Um, the darkest vision. I will. Dark. I'll put Borky behind you. Task. All right. And then Remy, where do you want to go? No, please don't. <laughs> Remy? I will uh I will take up the rear and hold on to somebody's shoulder because I can't see shit. Uh I've and, got yeah. I'll I'll whip up dancing lights <laughs> so we can have some I'm blind. 
And then Seika, where do you want to go? Uh, I said I was going to be towards the front. Okay. I'll put you right there. And I, I will whip up dancing lights just so we have a little bit of... All right. As you as you flex your hand and foof, 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 all these lights appear, one of the Zorn who's eating goes ah and kind of lifts up an arm at the sudden light and goes back to eating. Uh, the cavern itself is it's a cavern. It's there's nothing really to write home about. Um, it's kind of like shale rock and and granite and uh, notably it looks naturally occurring. Most of the caverns you've seen before look you know made or you know carved out or burrowed through or there's some other force. This seems like it just exists like this. The ground itself is not um, the best to traverse. It's rocky, obviously, uh, but it's not flattened out. It's like it kind of divots and pits. There's puddles and stuff. There's actually water under here, not a lot, um, but it kind of divots and pits. There's stalag uh, stalagmites kind of poking out at spots. It's kind of treacherous looking, but it does look traveled at least, and it's better than wandering around aimlessly. Or Hell inside yes. a Zorn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Less sweaty. Mm -hmm. Well, we have a lead, at least. Then I Look. shall roll my perception check. Damn it. Jesus, Connor, what are you doing? I'm, I'm trying to set this thing back up, but it keeps falling over. It's ghosts, man. It's ghosts. Well, these ghosts are assholes. This is expensive equipment that keeps falling off. 18 okay. perception. Uh, as you kind of perceive, you hear something far off in the distance. You can't make out exactly what it is, but you do hear a sound. Oh, what is this sound sound like? It's like a tone, but you don't really know what it is. And it, and it changes, it fluctuates, but you have no idea what it is. Uh, I stop everyone, and I kind of, like, mutter to everyone that there's a shifting tone in the distance. Do we follow or keep going forward? The shifting tone. Maybe move quietly. All right, then let us stealth our way to the tone. Okay. Uh, stealth with disadvantage because of the nature of the ground here. Beans. Tesk, I like your new accent. <laughs> Thirteen. Think about those beans. Did 11. I actually roll higher in stealth than Task and Greckles? Hey, it's what? It's a Christmas miracle. And what it happened is... then? Why in Alavast they say that Seika rolled uh, three nat ones that day. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It looked like Seika, but it was just me. <laughs> because I rolled a natural one. Uh, Remy, with disadvantage. Oh, oh my god. god. To be fair, roll it's a natural one. Oh, boy. Rolls down a hill. <laughs> Uh, this well, is bullshit. Apparently, I am the stealthiest boy today. Who is currently on fire in a dark cavern. Yeah, yeah of course. You're able to subdue it. I assume you do so when you're trying to be sneaky. No, he, yeah, he brightens yeah. it. He's still <laughs> in. <laughs> but the I greatest form of hiding is being in plain sight. <laughs> As you guys move forward, uh, panic, you are like stumbling into puddles. And like the ground is slippery at points and you kind of like shift down. You're like, ah, oh, shit. And you kind of slide down some minerals, like some mineral grooves in the ground. Remy, you keep like scraping. You have to like squeeze between spaces and your armor just kind of eh, scrapes between things. It's very dark and very difficult to see down here. Even with the dancing lights, there's just so many curves. There's so many stalagmites mm -hmm. and stalactites. I just, even with the lights, it does definitely help. It does still you know, the shadows still hide treachery behind every corner. Um, and as you guys move forward, you do notice something up ahead kind of skittering on the wall. Oh! Spider! And it seems to notice you. Uh-huh. Uh no. Well, do we notice it? I would love she started to the sentence with you notice something skittering on the wall ahead. I, I mean, want to notice it more, Mark. <laughs> Same. I want to. I want to throw all of my dancing lights I at it. A double notice. Uh, it looks like a horrible, horrible combination of a silverfish oh. and a scorpion. Oh! Oh! It's latched. It's latched onto one of the stalagmites, and as it peers up, you see little indents where eyes would be as it stares up. 
already fucking action with my bow. <laughs> okay. Uh, it doesn't move towards your position. Is it just hanging uh, out? It's just kind of staring at you and hanging out, but you do notice... Its front jaw is kind of got the set of maulers, and you see them kind of spinnering a little bit, and you see this mucus beginning to build a little bit as it kind of backs its head head up in anticipation. Can I oh. nature check it? This is an arcana check. All can of you I can arcana make an arcana check. check. It? Oh boy! Uh, task, you get this with advantage. Task. What? <laughs> okay. Here I go. Natural twenty. Oh, oh god. No. Oh, no. Take the natural twenty. I got a nine. Nat, that's a natural 30, Jesus. Uh, Task, you're like, I've seen, I've, I think I heard stories about this, I don't know. Uh, Panic, this is a cave fisher. Uh, they are like a subterranean arachnid. Um, they can sometimes be servants to things. Additionally, um, you can make dwarven spirits out of its guts. Huh? Yeah. I'm That's, sorry. Oh, oh, dwarven like alcohol. Got it. Like alcohol. Yeah, alcohol. Yeah. yeah. Dwarves the make alcohol. Of dwarves out of their... come from its guts. Um, apparently they're very edible, um, and it's it's a very like dwarves hunt these um, and cook them up and use them for various different things. You know this because of your time with Hammernar. Um, for some reason or another, he spoke to you about it, and you're like, "Huh, fascinating." Anyway. Oh, crazy. We have any more nature uh, documents? We have to watch? Okay, I'm gonna do a stupid thing since I'm the one in front. I like the funny monkeys. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull out a ration and toss it up in the air for it to get. Okay, you go ahead and just roll just a basic dexterity check for me. Oh, I'm good at those. I can't wait to eat my words. <laughs> okay. Okay, a fourteen. You grab a ration and you throw it, and it. <laughs> and kind of slides down and hits the stalagmite where this uh, cave fisher is attached. The cave fisher, without breaking eye contact, drops this sticky filament from its mouth and it kind of hits the ration and it draw, like takes its front claws and draws it up into its mouth and then eats it. And you watch as very quickly, it skitters around and leaves and disappears behind the stalagmite out of sight. Oh, oh it's like a barnacle from Half-Life. Good! <laughs> Good. Well, at least you made it happy. As, as long as it wasn't us. That was a cave fisher. That's why I don't remember what that. it was. So, what is it exactly? It's like a. I don't know. I heard that you can. I heard that they're were good eating, and you can make alcohol out of their guts. My really, foe. The hard turns back at where it was. You really want to eat that? Don't knock it until you try it, Greckles. Uh, yep. Anyway, it looks like we're okay, though. Uh, I've also heard that they can be servants to things. That gives me an idea, but that's only if we see it again. Let's keep moving forward. We're just going to befriend everything in the entire elemental plane of Earth. Yes, I told you what the fuck the plan was last session. I told you the plan. I'm going through with it. You can't stop me. I'm going to try every realm. Okay. You guys proceed forward. You guys still want to be stealthy or are you just going to walk? Oh, please stealthy. Mark, did you want to do something? Sorry. No. Okay. All right. Stealth checks again. Stealth. 18. Disadvantage oh, them. Eight. Ropes! We Nine. can use these to help me, Gordon! 14. Uh, so disadvantage. disadvantage. Yeah. Oh, natural one. You are and hitting both sides of the bookshelf today, buddy. Yeah, it's actually not bad for... Nat one followed by a nat 20 followed by a nat one. You're doing great. Uh, as you guys proceed forward through the cave, uh, task roll a perception check for me. I'm good at those. Question mark 15? <laughs> Your ears perk up and you hear something? You think it's music, but it sounds terrible. I look over at Panic. Why are you looking at me? She said it sounds terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Just making sure you're not humming or playing your guitar while we're walking. There's music that way. Bruh, I'm a fucking rock star. If you heard any music coming from me, it'd be amazing. 
Freckles rolls his eyes in the middle of everyone. Well, I'm right. Seika, as you're walking, something drips on your shoulder. Just... <laughs> You now that okay. <laughs> so I imagine it hits the shoulder and you just hear a little tss. Yeah, a little bit. I will look up. As you look up, you see that same creature hanging directly above you, probably up like 40 feet, and all over the ceiling are egg sacs. Oh, I believe we should keep moving. Oh, what's wrong? Count about disturbing. 30 individual egg sacs on the ceiling. They're about the size of a grapefruit and they're tacked onto the wall with the same sort of sticky filament. Holy crap. I think we are disturbing their nesting ground. You guys begin to hear like a like a rattling noise and you notice Seika looking up at the tail of this creature is kind of like rasping back and forth, but you do notice there's some crumbs of the ration around the mouth, so it's tolerating you, but it's defensive. <sighs> Tass like pinches his face and throws another ration up. Okay. Again, it snaps out and the filament goes up and he watches it slowly, like a fishing rod is drawn back up and kind of eats it into its molars, but it still seems agitated. Well, Tess, yeah, can't... but... Hmm? Can't you talk to it? Can I talk to it? It's not a beast, unfortunately. Uh, oh. Yeah, I don't... I. Oh, right, yeah, no. I... It's probably I like can't... a... Aberration or monstrosity. Yeah, I was about to say, but in character, I'll get back into it. If I was able to understand it, I would have heard it say something a while ago. Well, let's just All keep right. our let's just keep our heads down and keep going. Yep, let's yep. just keep moving. Okay. As you guys proceed forward, are you going stealthy? Are you guys going at a moderate pace? I don't feel like stealth is working at this point. I feel like we should just yeah. keep going forward. Yeah. I think I just I think moving quickly twang off of off of the walls. Bang. Yeah, moving quickly will help like assuage this creature, whatever it is, too. So, yeah, as you guys move quickly out, the sudden movement makes it kind of jolt, but it kind of wriggles back amongst. You assume it's babies or someone's. It's colonies, babies. You're not sure. You don't know the the. Even with the natural twenty, you learn more about what you can do with the creature panic. You don't know how the creature behaves or acts. You don't have that knowledge. Oh, jeez. Yeah. But as you guys proceed forward, now you can all hear the terrible music. It sounds like... Um, it's like... Kind of like... Um, you, you know when people perform on the street and they, they play like music on like, a, on like a bucket or like something like that? Yeah. Are you saying it's stomp? Oh god. It's kind of like <laughs> it's like stomp music, but it's like clearly only one person and there's yeah. like, you know, metallic noises mixed in and it is not good. It oh, it it's sounds industrial stomp. God. It oh. sounds really bad. Dude, dude, we just stepped in on someone's beginner band. They're playing hot cross buns right now. <laughs> on the drums? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's adorable and also ear piercing. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's Let's not underestimate it. We don't know what it is. Uh, right, could well. I do some sort of check to see if uh, this music is infused with magic? Uh, sure. I'd say roll a... Oh, God. History check? Arcana check? Probably Arcana if you're you're thinking about magical things. Arcana! Here I go! Again! Down, 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 down. Nothing, nothing about this suggests magic to you. It just sounds like bad. Mm. All, all of a sudden we start hearing, You go, my lad. You go, my lad. Round <laughs> down to Goblin Town. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess perception in the direction where the fucking music is coming from? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, it's yeah. one way path, unfortunately, so it's a direct path. Um, you do notice near the end there is some light. Uh, not too dissimilar from the blue light you remember seeing in that previous cave, uh, cavern area with the Zorns. Um, and it kind of, you know, calls to you. Also, this chamber is very comfortable. It's surprisingly, like, pleasant uh, for being a cave. Only Task feels this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck it. If it's just the one way, I'm going to step forward. All right. You guys continue forward, and the music becomes clearer and even worse. You see 
a cavern uh, that is alight with these sort of hanging uh, crystals of the sort of bright light that enters the space. There's the smell of <sighs> packed dirt. You know, when you're a kid and you played around in the woods, and you made like your own little, you know, village in the middle of the forest and you I packed down the dirt. The city, so. Okay, well, maybe only me, city slickers, but. Sorry. Um, <laughs> no, I have done that once. Come uh, on. You know what I mean? You guys know what I'm talking about? Like, mm -hmm. you, you know, you stamp out an area and you play around there with your friends. Mm -hmm. It smells yes. like that. Um, you also see sort of these hollowed out rocks that appear to have like windows cut in, kind of Flintstone style. Uh, as you make your way forward, this is clearly a village. And as you kind of turn the corner, you see Earth Ganassi. Uh, you see five, I think, Earth Ganassi. So let me double check. Grim. See, no, I knew what you were doing. Shut up. I, 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 someone was going to hear it. <laughs> uh, you see six. Uh, you currently see one male Earth Ganassi currently pounding on the drum, having a great time. Uh, there are two people in front of them uh, dancing, uh, one male Earth Ganassi and one female Earth Ganassi. Uh, and you see another one kind of like tending to a home. Uh, another one is currently pouring water into a jar. And the last one appears to be like sharpening a blade. Um, they don't notice you at all. Um, and the Earth Ganassi themselves are, Seika, you, you actually are quite aware of Earth Ganassi. Your dealings <laughs> most of the time are usually with the Earth Ganassi. They are, out of all of the elemental planes, the most amicable, um, albeit a bit rough around the edges. Um, they're a bit blunt. They're a little less respectful. They don't carry the sort of social graces as the water Ganassi or the air Ganassi. They're kind of like the Canadians of the elemental planes. <laughs> um, they're the well, now you've just cursed <laughs> every bit of artwork to have like the, like the half the head face thing, like from South Park. That's no. your fault, Monty. No, you just said it, so now it's your fault. I'm putting that evil. Thanks for on having me, buddy. See, okay. I was thinking Letter Kenny, but you know, whatever. I'm wondering what the goose equivalent is in this world. Oh, we just passed it. They're called uh, loons. Um, uh, <laughs> but they don't seem to notice you, and they seem to be lost in the dancing and the music. I'm gonna try and find some appropriate sounds right now instead of these spooky hey, tape noises. Hey, hey panic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What if we started playing music with them? It is like a universal language, right? Um, would I know? Like, is is this is this just them playing music, or is there like a a social thing going on? Um, roll a history check, I guess. Eighteen. Eighteen. Um. I mean, every plane has this kind of music that they like. You know, you have your air ganasi that like their wind instruments and all their chimes and all that. Uh, the water ganasi tend to play music using like the flow of water. Interesting, using sometimes like, um, you know, when you put like a, a card in like the, the wheel of a bicycle and it makes kind of like snapping noise, they tend to make music doing that. Um, Earth ganasi are a bit more direct, they're a bit more blunt with their instruments. You don't know. You're not an Earth Ganassi yourself, um, but this seems like a celebration, if anything. Like, they seem to be celebrating and having a good time, you know, bonding. It would help if the music wasn't so garbage, though. It's really <laughs> bad. Ah, uh, gosh, they I don't know. They seem to be celebrating something. Perhaps joining in would be a good idea. I don't know. I don't want to intimidate them with my uh, sheer presence. But uh... Well, then don't intimidate them. Join them. I know you can play good, buddy, but can you play effectively bad? Hmm. Force myself to play bad. Uh. Hmm. It would be the I ultimate could... musician <laughs> diplomat. Hmm. I could try. But what if they're Roll celebrating? Up. What if they're celebrating like their new alliance with the Oni or something? That'd be pretty. Hmm. We won't know until we try, and maybe it would be better to relate to them in that kind of way versus just walking up and saying hello. I'll give it a shot. Why not? <clears throat> I'll summon Catharsis. Okay. You summon Catharsis into your hand. I will try to play uh, uh, hard rock. Okay. But I'm too. Go ahead and make a... Wow. Are, you trying to, are you trying to restrain on your, your ability, or are I'm... you just... 
I'm trying to go with the flow of the style of their playing. Okay, with disadvantage then, because there's no flow or no style. It's just noise. Sorry, I as will. far as you're concerned. This is going to be I'll... groundbreaking. Uh, 15. Okay, you're like, how do I even play to this? You ever imagine... That's a, that's a natural two, street... two, by the way. <laughs> yeah. You ever imagine two street performers just getting all up in each other's business? It's kind of the energy that happens it's like, between it's these like two It's like drumline. Music. I'm yeah. like the guy... I the big the boom. I would like to opt in uh, with background flute to accompany panic. Okay, roll a performance check with disadvantage as well. Oh boy. Uh, twelve. As the world's shittiest band approaches the village of the Orphanati, <laughs> doing like the Team Fortress Two conga up there, just. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, is it just Greckles and Panic who are going forward, or the rest of you guys also joining them? I have a, I have a drum. Okay. I, and and I actually, oh, yes, monkey. I have, oh. I have a yeah. small drum, and I am considerably shitty at playing it. Uh, I'm going to begin an enthralling performance. Okay. Uh, if I perform for at least one minute, I can attempt to inspire wonder in my audience. At the end of my performance, I can choose a number of humanoids within 60 feet of me that have watched and listened to all of it. Uh, up to a number of my charisma modifier, five. Uh, okay. Each target must succeed a wisdom saving throw or become charmed by me. Okay. All right, so as you approach, the Earth Ganassi kind of stop, and like there's a bit of a, like, a moment, and they kind of turn and look towards you. And they look- As we, as we conk they and- <laughs> They don't seem too perplexed. They actually seem pretty excited. They're like, oh. Like, the mouths kind of open up a bit, their heads kind of cock a little bit, and the it's kind of hard to tell. They they kind of have a... They're very humanoid, but they do have a bit of, like, a sort of a stony sort of, like, texture to their bodies. Um, especially around the arms and the shoulders and, and places. There's actually places where, like, rock is growing out as well. Like, you know, these uh, sort of jagged gonna, stone structures. I was going to say, kinda... like, Ben Grimm style. Ben Grimm is uh, the thing, right? The thing, yes. Not as bad as that. It's a bit more subtle okay. than that. Yeah, but there are there are parts of them that is kind of Ben Grimm a little bit. They're they're mostly human looking for the most yeah, part. Yeah, they're mostly human. Yeah, similar similar to the water Ganassi and the earth, the air Ganassi a bit. Um, and as you approach, uh, one of them stands up, uh, clearly looking like the leader, and he approaches you and kind of steps up and goes, "Material walkers." Hey, how's it going, everybody? <laughs> they all kind of stand up and they all kind of clap towards you. And the musician even stops playing and claps towards you as well. Thank you. We thank you. Wisdom saving throws. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you. You're all enthralled. <laughs> <laughs> no, please. I insist you're okay. all too kind. <laughs> they seem really intrigued by you. There's a bit uh, of a strange, like, disconnect, though. Like, it's like... How do I describe it? It's not like they mistrust you, but it seems like there's like something between you two, but you don't quite get what, and it probably is just because you're from a different place. You get the sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Culture shock. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they kind of step over to you, and they're very curious, like, my, it's such an interesting physique, and you're, you have horns. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was okay. born with them. And this one, and you watch as uh, the musician, who's got this kind of his really, it's kind of like a drum and cymbal set, kind of sets it aside and steps over and looks at Tass and goes, this one is so small. And then another one kind of turns dragon. and goes, dragons, we do not have dragons here. The fire plane does though, I've heard. And oh, and you watch as one turns and sees you, Seika. One from the fire plane. Hello. Hello. What brings travelers here to our small village? Ah, well, uh, we heard that there uh, might be... Uh, the, there's some shenanigans going on the other planes. Crazy, right? They kind of look at each other, look a little confused, go back. Sh sh shenanigans. Panic, stop, stop using euphemisms. <laughs> Shh, they love me, don't worry. <clears throat> <laughs> uh, yeah, this, like... I don't know. Problems with Onis. Oh, they all turn and begin to laugh, kind of like jovially, and they kind of one's kind of like kind of smacks aside. He goes, 
Oh, I see. Well, you're a little too late. <laughs> well, what do you mean? Oh, Dokutsu is no longer a problem. I just look over at the rest of the party. Come again. No long Do Dokutsu? What do you mean by no longer a problem? Did you... Oh, they're gone. They've left. You killed them. They've... Oh, no. Vanguard Jade scared them off. Scared them... They left? You didn't kill them or seal them? No, we didn't need to. They left. And where might Vanguard Jade be? Oh, well, she'll be coming back to the village here in the next, um, they kind of look at each other. I think two days or so. Next two days. Uh, do you know where we could find Vanguard Jade? Uh, oh, she's, when... she's out on a hunt right now. It's be impossible to find her, but if you stay here, I'm sure she'll come back soon. All right. Uh, it... when she, when she comes back, where does she usually, uh, hide out? Oh, over here. Uh, come on in. Welcome, welcome to Terra Soil. And they kind of bring oh, you in. It's a very small thank you village. Thank so much. It's great to be here. Great to be here. A lovely people. <laughs> oh, you watch as one of them, the uh, one of the the ones who was dancing kind of puts a hand on her chest and goes, oh, well, shucks. <laughs> uh, oh my god. How many, of, how gonna... many of them succeeded their wisdom saving throws? You don't know. Panic's gonna be running this town inside a week. <laughs> <laughs> there, you can definitely get the sense of the different personality of the Earth Ganassi, because usually with like, you know, back in Alabasta, people would be like all over you. They seem a little bit more subdued in their appreciation. Seika, yeah. you know that they tend to be a pretty constantly kind of positive sort of people. Mm -hmm. So it's not too unusual. It's hard to tell if it's just them being amiable or them actually being enthralled. Yeah, it's it's a hard read for sure. But as you guys make your way in, you notice there's like several of these carved out kind of boulder houses with like windows cut in with like um, sort of like almost bead curtain esque sort of embellishments on the inside. And they pull back and they go, "This is a guest chamber," and it's a large boulder that's carved out. Uh, the ground itself is uh, is like sand, so the beds aren't even like cu cushions because there's no cushioning here. It's just sand, like softened sand that you can lie down on it. Oh, great. Oh, rocks. Mm. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yes! You heard me. Yay! You watch as the leader, uh, who kind of turns, goes, if you wish to wait here, this would be a great place for you to stay. Excellent. You said uh, a couple days? Is Van Vanguard Jade, you said, right? Yes. Is this Jade your leader, or...? Yes, she leads our people. Okay. She led us against Tonkatsu. She's amazing. No doubt about that. Is there uh, anybody else of authority that we could probably speak to intermittently, or...? Oh, you watch as he puts a hand to his chest. That would be me. Ah, and you are... I am Dan oh, Teen. Rude of, rude of me. Panic Grimtongue. Dan T. Dan Teen. D A N T E A N. I guess we'll go around the horn saying who we are. Okay, you guys all introduce yourselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You watch, they seem to kind of focus a bit on you, Seika, a little bit. Um, and roll an insight check. Ten. <laughs> it's my best skill. <laughs> As you look at them, you kind of get the vibe that it's like, oh man, we probably should have notified like the you know the person who was going to unlock our car we locked our keys into to like not show up because we figured out how to get our keys back. You know, it's that sort of situation is kind of the vibe. I, I get you. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh geez, these guys probably came all the way here and there's nothing even really, you know, fuck. So that's kind of vibe you get. We would be very interested to hear stories about the material plane. We have plenty uh, to spare. Absolutely. absolutely. And your your music. I would say the volume could cause great rumblings, but it would be nice to listen to. We do not have such any kind of... Do you let him touch the, the instrument? I'll let him go. Yeah, I'll let him touch it, yeah. He kind of, like, taps one of the strings and goes, 
It's so strange and different. <laughs> we never heard such sounds before in our lives. It's very unique, trust me. Uh, not many people uh, utilize one of these instruments. Hmm. Well, I'm sure you have many stories to tell. Come, come, come to our city uh, circle or town circle. This place is tiny, by the way. It's like a like a cave, like a small cave that they all hmm. seem to live in. Um, and they lead you to the, the, the center of the village where the musician was playing. Uh, and you watch as uh, one of the uh, female Earth Ganassi kind of walks over with a jar and goes, Are you thirsty? Oh, oh yeah, 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 absolutely. Actually. Excellent. And they bring you over like these kind of cut stone bowls. They're really heavy. And you're like, oh, like even as they're being filled with water, you're like, oh, imagine like cups that weigh like 20 pounds. Oh, uh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just drinking out of a bowling ball over here. <laughs> Literally is what it's like, yeah. As That's they pour like in as they pour in the water, it's like it definitely looks like the like have hollowed out um like metal jugs and like hollowed out rocks and stuff. Um, but it seems rather interesting. I'd like to do a silent head count of how many people are around here, like the scope of the city's populace. There are literally six people. That is this town. That's a very bad vibe. I, uh, I'm sorry. For me, that's a bad vibe. It's the hills have eyes all over again. Uh, Dantine, was it? Yes. What can you tell us about the altercation between Vanguard Shade and Dokutsu? Oh, it is a story for the saga. And you watch as he turns over. Sandstone, play me a song as I tell the story. And you watch as Sandstone sits down. And it's just like horrible percussion. It's like oh, no. awful. It's so, really bad. I'm, I'm visibly twitching every note. <laughs> it's like when someone sings really off key a song you really like and just butchers it. It's like, <gasps> it hurts. You watch as Dan Teen goes, well, when Don Kutsu came in with his legion of stone spiders, we were overwhelmed. As the Earth Ganassi are spread within the caverns of the elemental plane of Earth, we had to run and flee in ways we had never imagined before. Our bravest warriors were taken down with the might of these spiders. For you see, their raw strength is something to behold and something to fear. You watch as all the other Earth Ganassis now kind of like sit up next to you guys, kind of like, you know, story time at the kindergarten. <laughs> Vanguard Jade knew a full-on attack wouldn't work. So she brought her bravest warriors and subverted around and attacked Donkutsu directly. <sighs> he kind of sighs. I lament that I was not there. I had to protect my people. What few remain. And he kind of points towards the rest of the earth, Ganassi. But I heard the battle was legendary. Wonderful. <sighs> I'm sure Jade could give you all the details when she's here, but, well... What Oni would be able to stand up against the raw might of the Earth Ganassi. And you hear a bunch of the other ones go, yeah, yeah, and kind of like raise up, you know, they're, they're giant bowls of water that are way too heavy as well. Can I and roll an insight to see if they're, they're too proud to be, to think that the, any harm yeah. can come for them? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Go ahead and roll an insight. Can I, can I roll in on that? This, this reeks, this fucking reeks of, we are severely overestimating ourselves. 13. Yeah, something's not right here. I'd also like to get in 19. on this. 19. Sure. Oh, 18. Uh -oh. Okay. Uh, one second. Many a cocked eyebrows be happening. Hey, uh, step down. You don't want to fire those off unintentionally. <laughs> Our eyebrows raising is just... <laughs> Guns cocked and loaded. <laughs> uh, only task. Ooh. Oh, man. You tied. As uh, Dantine kind of looks at you, you're like, ah, that story is kind of like, you've heard stories of Valor. You've heard stories from your clan. And like, you know, you guys tell stories around like the tavern and stuff. Mm. For as big of a deal as that is, it's like, it's kind of half ass. It sounds as if they're telling a story they've heard from somebody else, but they seem really proud of it. While this tale is grand, I must ask, where is your source from? Well, it's from Vanguard Jade, of course. But, okay. Vanguard Jade, I'm sure, is a very noble and mighty warrior from the sounds of it. 
I would love to hear the story for herself, but you said she was on a hunt. What is she hunting specifically? Ah, uh, and he kind of began to nod. When Donkutsu came through, unfortunately, our herds of cave fishers were, well, and he kind of runs a hand across his neck. We only have one that remains, and, well, <laughs> he kind of passes something. We have big appetites down here. You are much smaller than us, so hopefully it will not take too much to feed you, and the rest of them kind of laugh. So the it's meal a is a little ghastly in appearance, but it is very, very delicious. So I've heard. So I've heard. So Vanguard Jade is off on a supply run of sorts. Yes, with her other men as well. How many other men? Uh, I'd say three, three strong. Well, two strong, one probably to carry the load. How many of? How many other Earth Ganassi were there before the Oni attacked? You see the faces of the Ganassi get a little somber. <sighs> to be truthful with you, there were many more. Many, many more. <sighs> I'd say after the attack, we maybe have... He kind of thinks for a while. 30%, 20% of our populace remaining. Oh! Hmm. That makes a little bit more sense. I only ask because... I have some sort of semblance of what to expect from living in an environment inside a cavern of a mountain. You are from here. No, I am from the material, but I am oh. from a place called Iron Oath. I lived in a mountain with my with the rest of my people. I see. So this landscape does not disturb you then? Not at all. The sand is very soft as I pat the ground. <laughs> yeah, you kind of tap it. You're like, hmm, cozy. Hey, this is, a good, this is some good sand. We must <laughs> say, we are curious. You are from the material plane. Is it true that the water and earth, he kind of puts his fingers together, kind of delicately, touch? In grandiose ways, actually. Oh, you hear them all kind of turn to each other and go like, that can't be true, it's amazing. I'm kind of like whispering to each other. Same sort of sensation you had with the airplane. The material plane is an interesting place where all elements come together and grow harmoniously, creating life. Huh. I have seen it myself. They speak the truth. What of you? To see one of the great fire is very fascinating, especially here. Yes, I have been traveling seeking to gather allies to fight against the Oni. Well... You'll find no better allies here. The strongest warriors of the primordial planes resides in the elemental plane of Earth. Even you can agree to that. And it kind of nods towards you, Seika. I am familiar with Vanguard Jade. I look forward to speaking with her upon her return. <sighs> I wish she was here now. We'd have so much to discuss. But in the meantime, we can keep you very comfortable. And we can dance and celebrate. And we have... Um, well, food to prepare for you as well, and um, we'd love to hear stories you have to say. Our chapter of our story seems to have come to a satisfying end, and, well, we could use something good in our lives to pad out what has happened. You see a bit more somberness on them. Uh, Task kind of like, here's the thing, I, I kind of like, will you excuse me a moment as I huddle to everyone else? Like, I just want to, like, speak, like, in, in, watch, in short private, but, watch, but I'm... You, you watch as uh, Dantine kind of leans over and goes, if you would like some privacy, you are welcome to enter the guest room and speak. We do well, not drop. It is none of our concern. Though, and he kind of raises a finger, if you are to bring harm to this village, know that we do have laws and we will enact them. We may be few, but we still have honor. Please, we, we would never harm you. We are not, we are not here to cause any grief to you. In fact, I actually would like to... The, uh, the reason of our private conversation is actually to see if I could, or if any of us could, apply assistance to your situation. Of course. We can welcome any help we can get. More bodies here could mean the world to us. Okay. One moment, then. I want to usher everyone into a private room real quick. Yeah, you guys head over to the guest room, and immediately they go back to their shitty music and their dancing mm -hmm. and, like, you know, kind of back to what they were doing, setting the jars back and taking your cups and washing them out. Okay, I'm not the only one who thinks this. They are completely overestimating a situation gone completely sour. Yeah, I, think I have no idea what's wrong with them. They might be in denial. 
They are known for their rather positive countenance. I believe they don't quite consider this a problem. If he is no longer attacking them, then Dokutsu's ac absence might speak truth to their words. They just have a positive look on it. I'm actually, I I'm actually worried that Dokutsu is possibly already infiltrated, maybe Vanguard Jade's mind, something similar to what we saw in the air, the air elemental plane. I didn't mm -hmm. want to be pessimistic or grim, but I do feel that if this person has gone out on a routine hunt and hasn't returned so far, I already fear the worst. This already sounds like a doomed expedition. Well, we do not know how long she has been gone, nor how That's long it takes them when they normally do such excursions. That's why I wanted to fly this by the rest of you. I say we should assist them in gathering supplies and materials, and while doing so, under the guise of cooperation and good sportsmanship and hunt, we search for clues. Yeah, that was something that I was thinking of too. I'm I'm curious. The all of the realms seem to have this guardian beast with them. I wonder what the status of that is here. Well, that's something that might... that's something that we could ask them as we work with them. I have a very sneaking suspicion I might know one telltale way that the guardian is still around here, the earthquake itself. Maybe um, I, I don't have my notes in a conveniently location right now, Monty. Um, do, mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't remember who the guardian spirit is of the Zaratan. Zaratan. Zaratan is a land tortoise. Um, do I know much about Zaratan? Roll a history check or a con check of your choice. Um, da, 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 da. It doesn't matter. It's plus zero on both. So we'll do history. Okay. 18. Uh, I'm going to sneeze. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna sneeze. God damn it. Okay, never mind. Look at, um, the, light. Look at the light. Look at the light. <laughs> I tried. I tried. I looked at the laptop screen. It didn't work. Um, 18. Really good. Zaratan uh, is also known as the heartbeat of the elemental plane of Earth. Uh, he wanders and resides underground and above ground on occasion. Um, there's a specific mountain called the Zaratan Mountain uh, that is painted about in many stories. Um, he is a. Let me grab my information on Zeratan here, because that was a pretty good roll. He's a little less direct than the Leviathan, the Elder Tempest, and uh, the Phoenix, as he is the largest of the uh, primordial, like, elders. Oh, God. He's 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 big. He's the biggest. Land turtle. He's a giant land turtle. Is he a horse big? Am I not true enough? He's horse big. Oh, oh my God. God. You know, it's, it's not, it's, shut up, it's strap in, it's only going to get worse. Zito, you know, go to jail. Turtle, <laughs> turtle. Uh, the interesting thing about Zaratan is that, specifically, he sometimes can draw himself into his own body, similar to a tortoise, uh, and just become a giant boulder, essentially, which is why he's considered the heart of the elemental plane. Mm. Um, also, if he moves, it will cause earthquakes. Right. Okay. But they are there are also normal natural earthquakes that occur as well. They're just kind of part of it. Is there any way to identify whether an earthquake was natural or caused by Zaratan? Uh that would take a nature check. Uh and because you're not an earth Anasi, you're from right. the elemental plane of earth, that's a different difficult check to make, unfortunately. Fair. Yeah. So Um, that may be likely. However, earthquakes do occur here naturally as well. Hmm. Well, in any case, we'll have plenty of time to get more information. Yeah. You're right. Wow. So you're suggesting we do not wait the two days for her to return? No. no. I, I say we take the day to at least get some sort of rest, gather any more information we can by speaking to them, and then suggest a hunt, maybe to at least assist them in gathering more supplies in the direction that... Oh, God, I'm sorry, her name... Uh, Jade, yeah, Vanguard and, Jade, in the in the direction Vanguard Jade has w less walked. Listen, we have no idea where we're going. It's safer here. We might as well just wait it out. I was actually going to say we wait those two days 
And then if she doesn't return, that's when we head out. At the very least, the two days, they have food, they have water, we have none of those supplies. At the very least, we'll survive here. That doesn't settle with me, but if it's the rest of the group's idea, I'll follow along. Just know I might be restless, to say the least. We'll let the situation evolve as it unfolds. Nothing is stopping you from keeping an eye out. It's just safer here. Given the nature of our journey so far, I can understand patience might be in short supply. But this may be our best option for the moment. Also, let's not forget, if we leave these people here undefended, as airheaded as they might be, they could be in danger too. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder if they're charmed. Don't you have a way to fight against that? I do, but I don't know if I could try it. Because I, I tried doing my thing and it didn't really seem to have a effect. I don't know if it's just their personality or what. Mm. Are you supposed to be able to tell? <laughs> well, the thing is, when I perform, it really gets people going. Like, they idolize me. They speak glowingly of me to anyone who hears me. Uh, they hinder anyone who opposes me. It's uh, really kind of scary, actually. Just that damn good, I suppose. Uh, mm -hmm. But it didn't seem like they were really going that far out of their way, which makes me think they might already be charmed by something. It's worth a shot. Well, you can always sneak that into some kind of performance. It seems like they enjoy their music here. Fair enough. Feign Panic. ignorance. Panic, while they figure this out, can I speak with you? Sure. Remy's going to uh, take him off to the side. What exactly do you think is going on? Hmm. They... They seem... I don't know. They seem like mm, the lights are on, but not everybody is home, if you know what I'm saying. They seem like they're in denial of something. And are you sure that's not a cultural thing? We've never met an Earth Ganassi before. I'm just saying it's an avenue that's worth looking into. I don't know the capabilities of this Earth Oni, but... <sighs> this is strange. We've... I've never seen something quite like this. They're reacting oddly well, and just judging off of the other Oni that we've dealt with. They've all been huge problems. And what happens if they turn on us, if they think they're being tricked? Hmm. They've been nothing but hospitable. She sort of strokes his chin for a moment. At the very least, Panic, let's give it a day. If Jade is supposed to come back, it won't hurt us to rest up, especially not after being in water for who knows how many days. Uh, trust me, I agree with you. I think we should wait this out. The more we bide our time and the more we can learn about the situation here, I think I think that might be worth doing, but something just doesn't feel right. All right, well, if you have any suspicions, let me know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> To be fair, when has it ever felt right when we entered one of these realms? <laughs> Airplane seemed pretty all right, but then it turned out crazy shadow, man. You guys are pretty tired. It's been a long, like, you guys have walked to the spires, been riding inside of Zorns, you know, crawling through tunnels. Uh, as you guys are having a conversation, you do hear a knock on the outside of the uh, hollowed out boulder, and you do hear a much sweeter voice go, uh, hello, uh, my name's Tile, the gem cutter. <laughs> gem cutter. Panic's, Panic's eyes light up like like Raven from Guilty Gear. 
<laughs> Are you Gem cover. Me? Is it okay if I enter? Uh, please. I, I I'd hate to disturb. She kind of pulls on the curtain. Goes. Oh, we're preparing a meal for you. Oh, excellent. Uh, what is it? Uh, Kate Fisher eggs. Flashes Ooh. back to like a half hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> Just hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> well. <laughs> Uh, mm. sure. Sounds delectable. Absolutely, we could use a meal. Have I you ever know, had this before? No, not at all. Okay. This is definitely, this is like a peasant dish. You're like, ooh. Is this but, something I've had before? Uh, it, because you failed the earlier check, I'm gonna say no. Beans. Yeah, you've had, like, insect eggs before. They're very rich in protein, um, but they have a very rough texture i'll say as much it, it's like crumpy. that team from atlantis it's like the doctor oh don't forget eat, eat them from the head first that's where all the protein is <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> oh but oh, wow since i seen that did you want to talk to the gem cutter panic sure okay you seemed interested in my gem cutting uh, yes uh i actually just came into possession uh of a rather large Pretty expensive gem. I was wondering if I have you. Do you have any? Do you have any experience in taking large gems and cutting them into smaller gems? Say, uh, do you use uh, uh, gold for currency here? What is what is expensive and what is currency? Oh my god! Oh boy! Mm. Uh. Don't it's... introduce currency to the populace here. <laughs> oh, they're not using their gold? Well, I'll take that. <laughs> uh, well, it's um, it, it'd be it's it's too long to get into. I think. Um, okay. um, if you want me to cut down the gemstone to be smaller, I have the tools to do so. Though, unfortunately, and she kind of looks a little forlorn to the ground. My master was killed in the onslaught, initial onslaught, so my experience is um, rather poor. But I could attempt, if you wish. Give her something smaller to work on. Okay. I don't really have anything else I can... Wait a minute. <laughs> a lot of uncut uh, gems. Do we have... Are they uncut? I have... Yeah, these are all rough-hewn gems. Okay. Um... Let's see what you can do. I have this bloodstone. Oh, beautiful. Oh. She, she takes it gently in I, her hand. I do. Tess, like, kind of perks up at the idea since I got this. Uh, this is, there is something I would like to ask of personally. Uh, certainly. I could see what I could do. Uh, let me double, let me... Uh, take a look at something very quickly because I want to see what gemstones we have in here. Again, I apologize, but the the gist of it is is that Task wants to make it into a gemstone ring. She doesn't seem like she she's young, like not to not to put that on her, but she doesn't seem like she would probably know how to do that. Okay, uh, well, yeah, at just least by her confidence, uh, you get that sense. Well, at least to cut the gem, so I could like go to someone who can do that and be okay. like, here, put this in. If you want to give uh, that to her, sure. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give her the magic gemstone I actually got. Okay. You hand it off to her, which is, and she's like, oh, I've seen these plenty of times. I can carve this one easier. And she kind of looks over towards the bloodstone. This is different to me, but I will try my best. Uh, in the morning, come and see me, and I'll give you these cut up. She kind of smiles and kind of bows off me and then runs off. Oh, and she kind of stops and turns around. Um... My name is Tile, by the way. I, I don't know if I... I can't remember if I introduced myself as such. You, you did, did, yes. Oh, okay. Kind of that! And she uh, she runs out. You guys are... Unless there's anything else you guys want to do, you guys are brought around to a meal. Um, it's like eating ostrich eggs that are slightly undercooked. Oh, God. Mm. Um, there's a salty kind of savory taste to it, but it, it feels like you're eating a giant eyeball. That's like slightly cooked. Uh, hey, food's well, food. Tap, but it's like, really hearty. It's really hearty. Like, like a monitor lizard Ooh. when you feed it eggs, Task is going at it. Oh, man. <laughs> Good breakfast. 
sideways bite, like. Uh, uh. Yep, sideways bite. <laughs> <laughs> the neck it's, slightly extends. It definitely has been seasoned with rock salt because it definitely, uh, definitely wouldn't have a flavor. Oh God. Yeah. I had some eggs earlier tonight. They're pretty good. Yeah. Man, I don't know what you guys are on about. This is great. <laughs> uh, so do you guys want to bed down for the night? Whoa, hey. Sure. I think wow. that's... We just met. Um, before... March. Before we, uh... Before we, uh, get to rest for the night, I'm going to cast Detect Magic. Okay. Um, while that happens, I actually would like to assist them in the cleanup. Okay. You want to help, like, clean up the, the meal? Mm-hmm. Sure thing. Uh, panic, as you detect magic, um, what's the radius again? 30 feet. 30 feet? Okay. Uh, as you detect magic, nothing really strikes you out of the ordinary. Um, your companions send, are the most magical thing here, obviously. Um, you know, per usual, you're glowing, Remy's glowing, uh, you know, Task is glowing. Seika, not as much, but his fists are glowing. Um, Beyond that, nothing really out of the ordinary. There's a few gemstones that do give off a mild, um, like, conjuration glow, just probably from, like, a glowing effect, like the stone that Task had. But, you know, besides your companions, it's normal. Hey, hey Monty. Hi. Before I go to bed, I'd like to expend one spell slot to use primeval awareness for fiends. For fiends? Okay. You place your hand on the ground and you focus... No fiends, except for Panic, but he's like the Rakoi of fiends. We've already determined that, so. But they're the only zero elemental. <laughs> Technically, um, Earth Ganassi are humanoids, but... Oh, right, you're trying to look for other stuff. Never mind. Well, yeah, well... You know what? That's not a, that's not a bad thing, because we're about to go to sleep anyway. I will do one more spell slot for elemental. Okay. As you press your hand on the ground and you feel around, uh, you get tons of blips. Um, makes sense. You're in the elemental plane of Earth. Uh, there are little rocks that kind of give off a bit of a blip, uh, and you notice that as they kind of look up, they're almost like hermit crabs. You can see little eyes underneath. Up above, in the darkness that you, not even you can see, uh, you get a few more blips, um, and then down the tunnel, more blips. Uh, you wonder if it's the Zorns, um, in different places. You can feel them kind of moving through the Earth. This place is rife with the Earth elementals. Hmm. Also, Seika is an elemental. No, you're not. You're you're humanoid technically. You're the Lacroix of elementals. <laughs> um, <laughs> while it's while salt me like this, I don't have to see shit like that. Well, I know not to fucking look for dragons because I know what I'm gonna be fucking called about. The Lacroix of dragons. <laughs> yep. Monty. You're more like the you're more like water that has like a single lemon dropped in it of dragons. <laughs> <laughs> fucking the idea, ow! <laughs> the idea <laughs> of lime of dragons. The idea of lime. Yes. Um, while <laughs> while I'm helping, them, I would like oh, Jesus, Jesus, Connor. What is happening? There's a ghost in here. <laughs> I would like uh, while while I'm helping with the cleanup, I would like to strike up conversations about like Donkutsu, the spiders, how Jade ran them off. Uh, just mm. as much as much detail as I can about this particular oni, how he fights, the creatures that he has with them. How we was sent and uh, how we was sent back, and I guess okay. if if they have any other grandiose stories about Vanguard Jade, that'd be good to know too. Uh, go ahead and roll a uh, I'm gonna say persuasion just to see if they like you. Please, no, they don't like me. <laughs> you're a bird. Very, you're you're the most foreign thing who's entered this place. You're a bird. They don't know what birds are. Um, they kind of look to you nice. and they they're like, well. Um, we were told that bludgeoning damage is particularly good against the elementals that were summoned by Donkutsu. Um, and Vanguard Jade is the strongest with hammers. No other creature on this plane or any other can outdo her with her hammer. You see this jade on either side and is enchanted by the heart of Zeratan. Oh, wow. That sounds amazing. Yes, she's very powerful. How long has she how long has she been ruling? They kind of think about it and they go, she is young. She's been ruling for 10 years, I'd say. Hmm. It's still a while. Hmm. 
<sighs> anyway, you should get some sleep. Though it is misleading down here, when the gemstones dim, it means it is nighttime. Oh, well, uh, we, we did experience something along those lines when we were on the surface. Hmm. Crazy thing. It was thing. very you... nice speaking with you. What was your name? Uh, Greckles. Uh, Greckles. Uh, humbly, Greckles. <laughs> <laughs> you are very humble. It is very nice to meet you. Well, bedtime. He watches they all begin to part and go into their various different houses uh, for the night. Is there anything that I might be able to uh, assist with tomorrow? Any gathering well, or cooking or? While the threat of the Oni is gone, there are other creatures that make their way through the village. So if you would like to keep guard with us, that would be most wonderful. I would be more than happy to. Hmm. Good night. Very nice speaking with you, strange, very soft person. Oh, what's what's your name? Oh, my name. And he kind of points to himself. Uh, Travel Team. Heck of a name. Travertine, yeah. Travertine. Mind if I call you Trevor? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, well, Travertine, you have a good night as well. Yes, good night. You watch as they begin to move uh, into their homes and they go to bed, leaving you guys. Hey, Monty. Yep. Uh, is everybody in the tent already? I assume so. I mean, you guys are in the guest room. Can I can I snag Greckles real quick before he heads in there? Uh -oh. Greckles, are you okay with that? Sure. You're my buddy. Greckles, can I speak with you, please? Oh, Remy, absolutely. Uh, he's gonna he's gonna walk him over. Is there like a like a sitting area or like under the moonlight or something? Just like a uh, there's like one of the less faded gemstones near the edge of the village. Yeah, that'll work. Just so that there's some light. Okay. Uh, there's been a lot on my mind, so I thought I would check in with you. Sure. How are you feeling? I've never felt like a greater responsibility has been thrusted upon my person. But I am taking it a day at a time and trying to foster something greater in our wake. I'm nervous, I'm scared, but so far we're two for two, and I feel a little bit better about our odds and our ability. This village is, the situation is a little unsettling. It's far less direct, and that does worry me a bit. Have you found any useful info, uh, info on this Oni, this Donkutsu? Donkutsu's demons apparently, I mean, I guess it, Makes sense. If they were rock-based, uh, very susceptible to bludgeoning weapons, and it seems that Jade has a Jade Hammer. Double-ended, magical Jade on both ends. So there might be some legitimacy to what they're saying. I'm not sure. Do they have any plans for dealing with him if he comes back? None that I've gotten so far, though me being as an oddity as I am, it was hard for them to get them to come out to me, but that's what tomorrow is all about. I'm going Freckles. to be joining. Yes? As you're oh. talking, make a wisdom saving throw for me. Oh no! I fucking knew it! It begins! 11. As you're standing there talking to Remy, you meet Remy's eyes and you realize Remy's not talking the way he usually does. His insistency to stay in the village? Something's off. And as you're about to say something, you suddenly feel strange, weird, even, like you're not yourself. You are under the control of a dominate person spell. Oh, God! Oh, no! Oh, no! Along with Remy. Hey, uh, hey, Chad, where were you when Remy turned heel? Got him. Oh, no, 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 no. Good work, Monty. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Bosco, mm -hmm. for helping me with this. No, happy to help. It looks mm -hmm. like it looks like Dinky is also in trouble. No! Oh, God. My Dinky! So, you are considered dominated person. It does not stop, either. This has no duration. It lasts forever. So what are my limitations then? Uh, uh, I, would, I would assume I would still work in the village or something. 
you will do any command that is bestowed upon you. By anyone? By anything that has a psychic link with you. Mm. And you do hear a voice kind of creep into your mind. Interesting party you travel with, soft one. You hear the voice, and it sounds exactly like traveling's, but it's in your head. Ah, oh, that's what I get for being nice. Your bodies will make excellent warriors for Donkutsu. We'll start with you two, and we'll move on to your other friends. Bastard man. <laughs> Go now. Go back to sleep. Tomorrow we'll do beautiful things. And let us keep this between us. Just as my brother kept his between your friend here. Good fluffy thing. Go back now. And you just feel your body just forced back to go back into the guest room. And that is where we're going to take a break. Man, oh, man I don't know about I you. I don't know about you. I knew it. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really tired. I, I think we're going to guard it. duty something. You know. I knew it. I knew it. I, I have, knew they, I, they didn't I go failed. under. They I have didn't failed fall. in my mission. I have failed my Denka. I must commit Sudoku. You failed your Dinky. Commit Sudoku. All right. All right. They didn't. Okay, you want to know what the biggest fucking thing was? Is that no one even heard me? Amani, I, I kind of like, I was like, oh man, she didn't hear me. The oh, moment, no. the moment that whatever her the gem cutter, the moment that the gem cutter stated that she repeated her name, not sure if she said it or not, I said I wanted to insight. Oh. Hashtag nope. failed. Too late now. Failed Dinky Dink commits Sudoku. No. <laughs> All right, guys, go get your snacks and your drinks. Bye, oh, guys. Hi, guys. Money, Welcome into the halftime show. Cry. Money, really, really quick, Money. Mm -hmm. um, will I still have like this? We're frog. Will I, will I have the ability to just like still do anything? Like as as far as you're basically mind controlled now is essentially what it is. So you're you're under the beguiling influence of basically Monty will no tell idea. you what you want. Okay, to do. So I'll tell you what you will do. Yes. Okay. I didn't know. I didn't know if you wanted me to actually have any input with anything at this point. So um, I'm gonna type to you because that's what I did with Bosco the entire time. Is I had Bosco say specific mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. Okay. But which, by the way, Bosco, good job. Yeah. Very Thank good you. job. Thank you. You're. You... <laughs> Remy oh, no uh, longer Remy no longer best friend. I now, can't believe now we trusted you friend. all this time. There, you were the there first are two turn. imposters. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! God <laughs> damn it! Uh, uh, among no, us. Notably, <laughs> notably, Monty. Uh, just just for the record, in case this affects uh, who's going to be targeted next. Uh, enthralling performance states that uh, if the target succeeds at saving throw, the target has no hint that I tried to charm it. Mm -hmm. so, so they no, have no idea. No, nobody knows that I tried to charm them. Yeah. No one knows except for your party, because you said so. Well, I'm sus. I'm going to go get food. Yeah, get food. Ugh. Yeah, Puposa Monkey with 500 bits. I can't believe Remy was <laughs> scrolling off the screen. Hang on. Remy was this jealous of Dinky's new friend. <laughs> uh, 400 bits from Twitcherberry. Saying, can't wait to see how you guys get out of this mess. Calling it now that Borky is somehow the one to piece it all together. So, yeah. Welcome into the halftime show. I'm going to uh, let the eerie music seep into your ears. Man. That's a, that's a real shame, man. You hate to see I'm back. that. Magic, oh, thank you for the 100 bits. The Coley heads are going to be something or other. Makuta Bones. Got it. I'd also like to state that this does not change what I already had planned on doing. No, but a little bit. <laughs> oh, man. I am made of sadness. Yep. Also, I'm back. Welcome back. Um... have my notes now so now i can write notes that say i failed where were you on the bits bosco huh uh i just finished uh 100 bits from magic so i was on uh dark star dara who says 
I knew something was up the last few sessions. Glad to see it come to fruition on my first live view. Well done, Bosco. I mean, if you say so. By the way, uh, I don't know if this is... Actually, no, I think that's a spoiler. I'm not going to say anything. What? Don't say it. Just for how long you've been the guy. Oh, yeah, that's it. absolutely a spoiler. You can't say that yet. Yeah, I can't say that yet. So. Let me turn to the... Trusted Birdman never should have trusted Birdman. I, I don't know. I don't know what to think anymore. I think I'm upset. <laughs> there is no war in bossing. Say I was honestly. Yeah. Yep. That was the first thing that popped into my mind when we got to this village, and I was uh -huh. like, I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna uh -huh. make the reference. I was waiting for it. I'm like, someone's gonna make a reference to the, there's no war in bossing. Say. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, uh, so bad. God, thank you for the 100 bits. I thought the Earth Oni was a big dumb, but I was wrong. $10 that he looks spider-based and Monty are all the Oni male. What? Are all the Oni, like, male-oriented? Uh, you don't know. We don't know. We haven't met two of them. Uh, flustered Bun with 200 bits. Well, now I'm not going to do Remy Doodles. Wait, that's, uh, actually a, that's a really good question uh, for you, Gaijin. Are there actually female Oni? Yes, there are. There are called they are called Kijo. Oh, cool. He, um, hang on. Mm. <laughs> they are less. Mm. I'm sorry, I've got doriyaki in my mouth. Um, they are Dare far you. less. They are far less physically physically capable, but they are far more magically inclined. When okay. I finally when I finally do make that race, I will make that apparent. Ha. <laughs> I got Cadbury cream eggs because there was a sale at the grocery store and I'm five years old. Are they better Easter. if you freeze them? Should you freeze Cadbury cream hmm. eggs? Are they better frozen? I just freeze chocolate in general. It tastes way better. I just don't want us to meet a Jorogumo. I think that would push me over the edge <laughs> on this. Uh, Cryvin with 500 bits saying episode name Among Sus. Mm. Uh, Magic with another bits. Also, welcome to Onikoro where the Earth Ganassi have more rocks in their heads than... Po Matorian. I'm gonna say this right now. Matorian? Like um, that. I'm putting money down right now that we're fighting a, a, a Tsuchigumo equivalent. Joe Gumo, probably I mean, not so much. Yeah, but, no, I, I can't. Uh, Weijin, thank you for the hundred bits. <laughs> I Snake Eyes, thank you for the hundred bits. How long has Remy been beguiled? How long has he been part of the campaign again? Good question. Um, let's see. We've got Kitty Cat Gundam with some bits. Mark, blame Ed. Always. Um. Let's see what else do we got here. Uh, I'm gonna send you some stuff, uh, Gaijin. Or <laughs> yeah, Suchigumo, I can see. Uh, Disco Tech Priest, thank you for the 500 bits. Preemptive episode title for the Fire Plane Boss Finale: Land of the Rising Sun. We 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 are way off from that. Irrelevant. Thank you for the thousand bits. Calling it now. Remy turned when he touched that magic talisman. Zenlito with 500 bits. Any remorse I felt for these puns are is now gone. If Sora, Donald, and Goofy travel to the Dead House world to fight no. the corrupted overlord King Mickey, it would be a pun that he wrote. Excellent. Thank you so much for the Read 500 the bits, Zenlito. Uh, defective sheet with a thousand bits. Title suggestion: There is no war in Ba Sing Sus. Nice. Uh, Protoss 103 with 100 bits. Since Remy and Greckles are mind controlled. Will they be finally cool? What? Whoa! Zenlita's a girl, by the way. I don't know if someone fucked that one up. Uh, Haunchpot with 100 bits. Once I saw a sign that said falling rocks, I tried. It doesn't. I like that one. That's good. Uh, just some undead dude. Thank you for the bits. Thank you, guys, for all the twists and turns, keeping everything interesting. You guys are amazing. Uh, oh, they are. Yeah, there it is. Uh, Protoss with another 85 bits. Borky has been having a long conversation with Ron Fault. Accurate. They've been going over their uh, their. You have another sword now. Problem. Yeah, I had to. I have to puppet Borky, unfortunately. Yeah. So. Uh, Super Choco Devil with 1,000, bits. I wonder if Borky will suplex any Oni. Monty, can I ask for a real quick clarification? Mm hmm. Uh, is it Dokutsu or Donkutsu? Uh, because I'm a 
brilliant naming thing. It's the Japanese word for cave, whatever the word for cave is, donkutsu. Hopefully I said that correctly. I heard no donkatsu and got hungry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, was, not I the heard food, that a not the time. Times. Don, I heard donkutsu. donkutsu, I was like, oh, Donkutsu, which is cave. Okay. <laughs> Should be cave. Again, I don't speak Japanese, I'll so I, I wanted to find names that were cool, and that was one. You so. could name them whatever you want. Also, uh, Discotech, thank you so much for the 500 more bits. On a more current note, looking forward to Panic getting some kick-ass Bloodstone ear studs. Also, for those keeping track, that would mean it is Dokutsu. Oh, my God. Dokutsu. Yeah, thank you. So we, so we had... So we had... Kozui the Water Oni... Mm -hmm. We had uh, Kokyu. Kokyu, Kokyu, the air oni, and now we have Dokutsu. Dokutsu. So it's it's Kozui, which is flood for the water oni, Kokyu, which is breath for the air oni, and now Dokutsu, which is cave for the earth oni. Hmm. Oh no. no. Wait a minute. Hmm. What if. Dokutsu is like the big fucking planet we're in. I don't think he. I, I don't think he's the entire. Think he's fucking Unicron. What the fuck? What if, I don't what think if he, I don't think he's Unicron. <laughs> he could great, be. The great this planet is like a fucking Jester. Florida Mort situation. Fucking e ego, the living planet bullshit. Oh no, we're not going there. We're not going to ego. <laughs> What? Now, I know that, that sounds, sounds bad. bad. I, panic just, Tass just pulls out his bow and just starts killing Crackles. <laughs> Great. By the way, and I'm, I'm putting a lot of faith in you guys, you cannot... You no, of course oh, not. No, 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 I, I, oh. I already said, I already said this doesn't change what I was going to do anyway. Yeah. It, exactly. It doesn't change what Task was going to do also, anyway either. I, I, I'm sure people are pissed because they're like, oh, Panic used Detect Magic. I'm like, Panic wasn't looking at his allies, though. Panic was looking at everybody else. So that's why I said, like, oh, all your allies are magical, but you're used to that and kind of, you know, pushed it over. Because I, you I had a... You you reiterated that my allies were glowing, and I, I, I thought, hmm. They're, they're, but the, again, for Task, it's unfortunately, Monty, it's just that everything... Ev like, immediately, the one point where I'm just like, I will really want you to check for insight and i didn't get a result for that i was just like oh man because i right. again it's gonna, it's gonna be better this way i need more tea yeah that that's fair just, just I'm, I'm just like hmm yeah no task is still suspicious as fuck you walk a lonely road the only road that you dmca thank you oh, I'll, 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 I'll be the crazy one guy who fucking like conspiracy theories his way into the scenario so, Connor, task here, over there Bosco. with the, the tinfoil hat. Bosco, I'm here. here. Yep. Gaijin, you're here? I think he went to go get more tea, he said. All oh, right, he said he was getting more tea. Boom. Boom. I have iced tea. <clears throat> I'm drinking a lot of tea. Uh, I will be holy, right back. Holy shit. Someone actually discovered, I'm, I'm sorry, this is such an unrelated bit of news, Excuse but me. apparently someone just discovered there's a way to, so you know the the squid racing uh, red coin minigame in Mario uh, Sunshine, the one that if you touch the, the, oh my god, if you touch the wall rog, you just die and you lose out, even if you did it correctly. Someone discovered that there's a pinata just like swimming out in the middle of the water in a rubber ducky float, and if you run into him, you can dismount the squid naturally. Huh. So you don't, like, just don't touch a wall, find that one pinata, just run into him, and you're free of, like, dying on hit. Well, I'll be. You know, I had a sinking suspicion that something bad was going to happen when the, when the scary music started playing, but I ignored it like an idiot. The scary music has always been playing. It's ambience. It's cave ambience. It's still spooky. It's the best cave ambience I could find. Please don't make fun of me. No one is making fun of you. We literally said it was spooky. Yeah, just... At first it was fucking Remy going like, oh no, we should stay here. I'm like, what? Why? That's dumb. But okay. No, but it made, it made sense. Oh, we... no, 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 no. I just... The, the, all the fucking... Everything about everything anyone was saying, Task is like, that's... No. Hmm. <laughs> I'm absolutely not going to metagame this. What, what, what the fuck fun is that? 
Okay, Parker? I think, are we Parker? all back now? I think so. I think okay. so. Okay. So. Uh, get up in the morning feeling cheery. <laughs> Yeah, you guys have a very good night's sleep. You actually like lay out your your, your kind of bed rolls on top of the uh, the sand, and then you kind of like it's almost like a beanbag chair, but like slightly more dense. Uh, and you guys wake up the you think is the morning. Uh, the slight increase of glow in the walls kind of like you know coaxes you awake, and you do hear a little rasp on the boulder. Ah. Hello. Yes. Uh, 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 oh, good morning. You watch his tile kind of scoots in. Um, I worked all night on the things you asked me to work on. Though, um, I, I did have some difficulties with yours, and she turns towards you, Panic. Ah. Uh, here you go. And you watch as she hands off your gemstone. It's been split in half. It's been look like it looks like she hit it with a rock to split it in half and she hands it off to you. <laughs> ah. And then panic, she brings yours over and it's like in five different random pieces and hands it to you. Hmm. <laughs> it's kind of shit. It's really bad. Oh, Does it look like she used a tool at all on this that it wasn't a rock? It looks like, you know, if someone smashed a tiny rock with a big rock a little bit, yeah. You're not satisfied. Oh no, this is this is perfectly fine. Um thank you though. Uh I'm I'm sure I can use this this uh I'm sure I can use these pieces for something. Maybe some uh fancy jagged earrings. Ooh, those might look actually pretty good. Oh. Like mine, and she kind of flips her head over and like kind of points towards her ears. You do see those oh, like yeah. some really cute kind of very like quartz crystal earrings that she's wearing. If she's the gem cutter's apprentice, what does the craftsmanship look like on the jewelry she's wearing? Very good, very very good. Ooh, and, <laughs> and, mm, and ours is shoddy showmanship. Yeah, it looks really shit. Um, okay, well, well, I'm I'm sure you did the best you could. Yeah, I was only an apprentice for a few days, so, you know, oh. trying to learn from scratch, really. Certainly. Uh, breakfast will be soon. And she kind of scampers off. Okay. All right, see you there. Look the oh. task. I looked at Paddock. Fucking horrendous. I mean, it could be worse. It could have been powderized for all we know no i mean if she's the gem cutter's apprentice did anyone notice how well the jewelry was on her person mm. i mean to be, to be completely fair if she just got started i mean what did you expect i mean maybe it's the maybe the earrings were made by the master and she's wearing them as a keepsake or something i don't know uh, i'll this. just I'll just put this away. Well, <laughs> Five well, bloodstone well. chunks. Yeah. Yeah. They uh, the value has definitely been decreased, unfortunately, as an effect of that. And it, like for mine, like it's not terrible actually. It's just kind of like lazy. <laughs> yeah. No. That, that that's fine. It could be polished though, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Good thing I didn't give her the you know what. Well, that's why I told you to Monty, give her something there, easy to start food? on. Yeah, there's food. You can smell it in the air. You can smell uh, the scent Is of it bug again. It's the eggs again. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Remy's gonna go away. It's breakfast time. Mm -hmm. All right, Remy, you head out. Greckles, you're really hungry too. You really, oh, really, yeah. really want to eat as well. You really liked it. It kind of the taste kind of grew on you. It's delicious. I mean, it's eggs. Yeah. It's hard to mess up <laughs> eggs unless you burn them. You guys, all head out. Yup. Yep. Off to yeah. oh, so. bug eggs. I don't like. Well, you guys sit down and kind of sit around the same circle. Uh, and a few of the villagers are eating with you. A couple of the other ones aren't. They're kind of like going about business. Please ignore my cat. They're going about business and uh, kind of sharpening blades. You know, there's a blacksmith, a younger earth ganasi as well, who's like kind of sharpening a blade. 
Hmm. Ooh. Actually, I wouldn't mind stepping up to the blacksmith. You watch as his head kind of lops up and looks towards you. Can I help you? Yes, Hale. I couldn't help but notice that you were, well, whittling away at some tools. <laughs> Call this whittling. Sure, yeah. I'd be very interested to see what else you have in your repertoire or your armory. Uh, he kind of looks behind himself. Don't really have much to, to, to sell. He kind of looks back. And you notice that there's like this, he's next to like another one of these like uh, boulder buildings. You notice that this one actually has curtains and like a door on it. Specifically made out of the similar sort of bead uh, door that you saw before. And oh, no, 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 there. no. He looks back yeah. and he goes, I could look and see what I got. Oh, no, no, no. I actually wasn't in the, I wasn't in the mindset to purchase anything. Also, task kind Purchase. of squints at the... Right? Okay, Purchase, okay, right? That, that, means. that, that, that flies. Okay. Well, mm. okay, I wasn't really in the market or trying to find a weapon for myself. I was just more curious of your craft. I wanted to see uh, what people of the realm of Earth used as weaponry, as armor, or any materials that you guys make for tools. I, I'm just curious. Oh, uh, he kind of lists up the one he's like, metal. A lot of a lot of metal here. What's okay? Is there anything different about what he's showing me? Like oh, anything it's... unique to this realm? It looks more crude. You get the sense that their smelting probably isn't as good because they're not. You know, they don't really have a forge. They probably just take the raw ore and just whittle it down. Is the sense that you're getting. Which is a really rough way to go about things. Probably makes weapons here really, really, really valuable. What, what was I rolling again? Um, you're rolling insight on him. Sure. Oh, oh, oh! Son of a bitch! <laughs> I saw that night. I saw that nineteen. Damn it! Yeah, you get nothing. Sorry. It's okay. Um, I. Can I, if he, to... like, looks inside, can I peek and see, like, what his equipment station looks like, just from afar? You try to pull back the curtain? Yeah. Okay, he brings up a hand in front of you, and he goes, uh, it's dangerous in there, so, you know, respectfully, just kind of gently tries to push you backwards. I, I respect it, but Task will remember this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where, did, did Task just wander off completely from the table? Can I not see Oh, anymore? no, 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 I'm, oh, I'm just coming you... back. No matter where you go in this village, you can see each other. You literally have to gotcha. like, go down one of the tunnels to really avoid people. God, one of these people is going to ask me if I've ever had stuffed mushrooms before. <laughs> that is an inside uh, joke. <laughs> uh, what? I'm, tr I'm trying to think. Hmm. All right. What else is everyone else doing around here apart from just singing and dancing? Like, because again, <laughs> singing and dancing, it seems to be a consistent theme. Uh, doing the dishes, and you do notice that um, one of the individuals leaves uh, to probably go tend to the cave fisher. You see them carrying water out. It is the uh, one of the people who, I have to feed my cat. I forgot to feed her. Um, oh, no. But it's it's uh, one of the female Earth Ganassi. She's a bit more like older looking, kind of hardier looking, a bit like Helga energy, but like slightly more subdued. Um, and you notice that she's taking a big bowl of water towards the direction of the cave fisher. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so I'll just like ask it general. So obviously we know that going back that way leads to the cave fissure. However, uh, what is directly just outside the opposite direction heading out of the village? Uh, Dantine kind of turns to you and he goes, "Ah, uh, well, uh, that would lead you to the uh, the fields of stalagmites. Um, dangerous place. Lots of ropers, other nasty things." Um, then there's the salt fields, uh, just a flat ground of salt. It's actually where he kind of lifts up, where we get the salt for food. Delicious, right? Mmm. He kind of rubs his stomach. Um, he kind of turns, he goes, we don't really go far much beyond that unless we're mining or anything like that. Uh, once you get past there, you kind of hit, uh, you know, the tight spots. Uh, I mean, it, I'm... No, well, Task kind of like just smiles at that and then produces his pick. Well, I'm actually quite curious. At some point, I'd like to at least obtain some sort of unique treasure from this realm. 
perhaps I'll go check that out for whatever for whatever reason at some point. Oh. Uh, travertine. You watch as he calls, and you watch as the like, almost like mid him calling his name, the other Earth Ganassi kind of turns around and goes. Travertine is one of our finest miners. I'm sure he could help you find something you could maybe dig up. I wouldn't recommend oh. going too far from the village, though. It's you know rather dangerous out there, especially by yourself. Our miners don't even go that far out. Well, as far as you'd like to take me, I am welcome to see. Yeah, you can get into the little tight spots. And you watch as Travertine kind of looks down at you and smiles. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, that I, that, rem <clears throat> that reminds ahead, me, Tra Travertine. Yes. You had said something the other day about patrolling the village. Yeah. Um. He kind of points over. To Dantine. Dantine will probably help you out with that. You and your other friend would make excellent uh, stationary guards, I'd say. Would By you need assistance with that, Greckles? What? I'm gonna feed the cat real quick. I'm really sorry. <laughs> okay. I should have fed him. Oh, Talk we'll amongst just, yourselves! Just hold hold off on that question then, I suppose. No! I need oh, an ah, yes. now! The cave feline. Oh, oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> how, how just bust in now he's DMing. <laughs> meow, 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 meow. <laughs> Hob, what the what fuck is... are you talking about? <laughs> Why is yeah, Hobby's voice Patrick Warburton? What the fuck are you? Yeah. A meow. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Uh, Roll for a into the field. <laughs> you, you, uh, see a bowl full of, uh, delicious. Empty. Food. Full of greenies. <laughs> full of empty. <laughs> And you need to fill it with a uh, catnip. It needs to Don't be. Go ahead and roll me a catnip check. Yeah. Now, uh, you yeah. make an investigation check on uh, the bag of greenies ah. you opened yesterday. <laughs> you don't use that meow mix. That stuff is garbage. No, 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 ah. no. You used beef ah. yesterday. I remember. You right, used <laughs> tuna. Now I want the tuna. It's really yeah. hard pouring out cat food and hearing Morton Burton cat in my ear. <laughs> as I'm really, I have to say it adds an extra layer of comedy when you see the cat pudging around and then you just hear the voice coming out of your headphones. It really adds to the experience. Hey, Peter. A anyway, Seika, <laughs> you wanted to talk to Greckles. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you need me to repeat the question? Yeah, Shh. if you wouldn't mind. Um, would you need assistance with that, Greckles? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think the more the merrier in this case. Get a little bit more understanding of how, you know, everything around here is. Uh, we've got we've got a lot of time to kill anyway before Jade comes back, so more information the better. That was okay. it. That's the, that's the whole thing. So Seika and Greckles, you guys go off with Dan, uh, Dantine and Remy as well. Mm. He kind of sets up a very shitty guard. You know, he just kind of slaps you guys oh. in different corners of the village, and it's kind of lame. Talking about. <laughs> hey, uh... Well, it's his guard. He's the one organizing it. It's not well organized. Hey, Monty. Hi. Uh, I know since Kurt's not here, I was kind of hoping that I could have uh, Borky follow Task along in that, that little expedition to the mines. Uh... Do your best mm... Borky, Monty. <laughs> No, nah, I can't do Borky. Uh, it's okay, well, then. I have hijacked the character up. sheet. Hello, it's me now. <laughs> okay, I'll, Borky I'll, will go with you in uh, Travertine. I okay. feel funny. <laughs> kind of putting down where you guys are at the moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would that leave me alone? Yeah, and yep. uh, as you are there, happening. No. <laughs> the musician approaches you and goes, Hey, uh, Sandstone. Hey, yeah. Big fan. Uh, no. Oh, oh shucks. I, I uh, just sort of, uh, I, I, I hum a little bit to myself and I reach out and, uh, and uh, shake his hand. Yeah, you take his hand. It's very, um, like, there's not a hard grip to it. You'd expect a really hard grip, but it's actually kind of soft. And, you, like, and he kind of shakes up and down. He goes... I, I really like your music. I like how it kind of makes, you know, everything kind of shake around you. It's interesting. Oh. <laughs> Me humming his counter charm. Counter charm? Mm-hmm. Everyone within 30 feet of me has advantage on wisdom saving throws against being charmed. Okay. Can you roll the spell for me just so I see what it can do? 
It's not a spell, it is a feature, and I can keep it up as long as I want. Okay. You and any friendly creatures within 30 feet of you are damaged from saving throws, and if you're frightening or charmed, a creature must be able to hear you to gain this benefit. The performance ends early if you're incapacitated or silenced. Okay, so you're doing that on yourself, essentially. Yeah, I'm just... <laughs> How long does it last? It lasts... Uh, for... Uh, it lasts until the end of my next turn, but I'm just going to keep doing it as, as often as I can. Okay. Uh, okay. So, yeah, you keep kind of like, you just kind of snap your fingers, and that kind of just keeps it up. Um, as you talk to Sandstone, Sandstone looks young and plucky, like maybe 19, 20 years old. Um, he definitely has that look of, like, I'm doing my first band, and it's, like, shitty and in my garage. Um, he kind of looks at you and goes, I want to be like you, you know, raise people's spirits. I, I think music is going to be great for that, you know? Yeah, absolutely. It, uh, you and me, we're, we're kindred spirits, I think. Yeah. Hey. Me and my whole, my whole family, on, on my mother's side at least, we, we're all about the music. Really? Wow. My, uh, my, my dad, you know, he was really about the music too. Ah. <laughs> um... Can I try your, he kind of points towards uh, Catharsis. You know, swap. Uh, you know, it, it, this is this is sort of a, a special memento. I don't really let a lot of people touch it. He watches his smile kind of fades. He goes, yeah, I get it. I'm just a young kid, so you wouldn't want me to break <laughs> it's it. Not, it's not that. Uh, what, what sort of instrument do you utilize? Hmm? Oh, mm -hmm. this is, uh, this is the, uh, he kind of walks you over. This is the crash and bash. He kind of smashes one of the keys. Use your hands. Do you want to give it a try? Uh, sure. Uh, I'll. I'll. Uh, yeah. I'll keep. I'll keep. Uh, I'll keep catharsis on me, and I'll just. I'll just go out and try the smash and bash. And in my head, okay. I'll be like, "If does this seem weird to you?" Lurking, leeching, leering, lingering. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, uh can d d detect magic. I'm going to just cast detect magic. Okay. Spell slot. You cast detect magic. From your position, you don't catch your allies, and you you only catch a couple. Do you? You catch the blacksmith, and you catch sandstone, and you catch uh, tile. And there's no magic. At all? None. Except for, like, the few stones, like, that you noticed before, which are, like, the light features here. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Look over at this kid. He's kind of eyeballing catharsis, and he kind of turns up to you and goes, "So." He kind of he kind of looks side to side and kind of leans over and goes, "Dantine said that you're here to like help us." Yeah, we were supposed. Vince on Don Kutsu. Yeah, that's what we were supposed to be here for, for but uh, I guess you guys have it covered. <laughs> yeah, Vanguard Jade, hey. she's amazing. Oh yeah, absolutely. From I can't wait to meet her. Uh... Hey, you know what? You seemed eager, and I like the cut of your jib, kid. Uh, here, catch. I'm going to toss him catharsis. Okay. While it's in midair, dispel magic, fifth level. Okay, you dispel magic. Uh, as you throw catharsis, catharsis slams to the ground, and, ching, 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 and then he goes, oh, sorry. Nothing's dispelled, and he picks up uh, Don't worry. Uh, before he can reach for it, I, I bamf it back to my hands. Whoa. Huh. Wow, I was gonna ask how you, you're using magic to, to, to fight Oni, but I guess there's more to it than that, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Vegas answers. <laughs> roll, roll a deception check for me, Panic. Here I fucking go, 23. Okay. Uh, he kind of like, kind of looks a little bit and he goes, I get it. I mean, you said it was probably just a test, right? To see that I would break it. 
I guess I did, huh? Ah, oh, that's not broken at all. Uh, tell you what, I gotta go take a leak. Uh, you got a, like a like a bathroom or something? Oh, you can just go behind one of the stalagmites. While oh, you're gone, yeah. could I, uh... Really, just, it looks really cool. Oh, jeez. Tell you what, if you wait right there, we'll see about letting you play a little couple of licks. Roll a persuasion check. I'm not fucking gonna do that for him. I'm lying. <laughs> yeah, but roll a persuasion so he believes you. Okay. 17. He kind of smiles. He goes, okay. And he kind of goes over and sits down and starts playing some pretty right. music. Meanwhile. While I'm behind the stalactite. Okay. Yeah. I, I pull out the orb ascending. Okay. I message Solly. Okay. Very important. Message me often as possible. Something strange happening. People acting weird. Use a call sign. Call sign is one word. Mm -hmm. We'll check in later. I have five words left. Message. me every day please okay uh, a few minutes pass as you're behind the stalactite or stalagmite sorry on the ground uh, mm -hmm. you, hear, you get a response back from Sally going noted I, I have sending prepared luckily I I miss you guys you can trust me talk to you soon That's the end of the message. What? I... I'm going to turn into a regular spider and fuck off and try to find the rest of the group. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you turn into a spider. Uh, please roll a stealth check using the spider stealth check. Spider oh, stealth. Jesus. Spider stealth. Spider, spider stealth. stealth. Yeah, Ooh. give them the old one, too. <laughs> They're pretty stealthy, to my knowledge. Um, task. As you and, yeah. uh, I believe it was you and... Twelve! Borky. Borky. Okay. Me and Borky. As you and Borky are walking, you guys don't even go, like, 60 feet outside of the village before you, you find, like, a little hole that's, like, slightly kicked. And, like, you see uh, Travertine kind of point and go... Here we go, let's get started here. And he just starts swinging with a pickaxe. I want to roll an investigation to see if there's even a fucking ore. <laughs> okay. Roll a uh, survival check for that. Oh, good. Even better. 25. If there was something valuable here, they would have already dug here. You know, I can't help but feel that while this is very valuable and very well put together stone I do believe you all have enough of that back at the town would we not would it not be more adventurous to find I don't know steel or some sort of other ore that has a gem oh well I mean we could but we don't want to leave the village too far you know it's not safe out there and Oh, I mean, we could see the village from here, though. And besides, you have two very well-seasoned adventurers. I mean, he has the giant greatsword, and I have my bow. That's right. 
Right. Still, you know, if, 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 if something were to happen to the village, we should be able to get back quickly, you know? I'll tell you what. I am a very... I am a very skilled tracker and a hunter. I will scout out a little bit ahead, and if I see any danger coming, I will warn you. I would like to at least see a tiny bit of the area around here before we start digging. I have a good feeling that there's just something so valuable and rare just around the corner. Take it from me. Oh, no, 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 trust me. I won't go too far. Yeah, hate, hate to lose it. You guys are so nice. Oh, don't worry. We've, we've been through a lot of stuff. We, we and my best friend Task. Uh, if you, you know, if, if anything happens, just uh, scream, I guess. Well, you know, why, don't you stay, why don't you stay with me while your friend scouts out? I'm sure you want to be stealthy, right? Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. I nod to Bork. He just like, yeah, do it. I, I nodded him completely genuinely. <laughs> <laughs> you, watch his, uh, you watch as uh, as uh, uh, Travatine kind of turns. He goes, "Come back now, or we'll come dragging you back." And kind of laughs. <laughs>, finger. <laughs>, uh, yeah. finger finger guns at him, stealth away. It's okay. easy because he's small. He couldn't resist. He's so small. You're big though. You're really tall. I'm really big. Like Let's if... on this on this here right here. He kind of begins I've got swinging. really big hands to swing this really big sword. I'm going to stealth the fuck away. Okay, you stealth away. 19. Nice. All right, yeah, you sneak into kind of the shadows. There's a lot of coverage here, and it's coverage you're used to, so this is, like, the most comfortable you've been in these different environments. You are spoiled for choice here with this rough terrain. Greckles, All right. Well... Oh. Mm -hmm. You guys are... Trapped internally. <laughs> and this voice kind of reaches into you. Two different voices, unique to each of you. Excellent. You hear one say to you, Greckles, mm -hmm. you're doing an exemplary job. Very obedient. Perhaps in your mind's eye, you could tell me where you've been before coming here? How you got here? I guess I tell them everything then. Okay. Fucking Roll a wisdom saving throw. Roll a saving throw. <laughs> this is not to resist the, the mind control effect, but to deny information, because they're just kind of creeping into your mind right now. Uh, nope. Oh. Oofer. I'm gonna get killed. <laughs> you hear the voice come back. So is that who you are? My, my, my. You'd make a wonderful gift. For a donkutsu. But we need to bait our time. Your friends have an interesting skill set that I think our kin would love to utilize, as I am now utilizing you. Remy. Mm -hmm. Where is the gray one with horns? He's missing. Fuck. Look for him. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I'll be moving your little spider legs fast. Time to go kill a panic. Nah. That's for having sex, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna Remy. wreck you worse than he ever did. Uh, roll a perception check with disadvantage because you you do have your vision thing, but this is a dark environment that you are not used to. Um, uh, I have so a quick question. Would, so would my advantage cancel it out? Would it be just straight? Uh, because I normally flat, have advantage. Flat, flat, flat roll, so it's a flat, flat roll. roll. Okay. Uh, Seika, you had One. a question. Yes. Yes. Um. So because I'm with them, is he just leaving? He's looking around, at the moment. 12. Within the you area look? where we were set up as guards, though, right? Yeah, you can see everyone from this point. Like you literally just see Task walk away. Like you guys are all within eyes reach, and that's you know, given the circumstance, that's probably intentional. Okay. 
I, uh, yeah, 12, I just want to make sure that, like, because if he just, like, up and leaves, that, that would be noticeable. So I just want to make sure. Uh, 12 perception check, Monty. So a you rolled a 12. Right? No, it's just a flat check because he has advantage right. on site based checks, but he has disadvantage because it's dark, but it just evens out. So you got a 12. You do notice a small spider immediately scamper up the side of the wall out of nowhere. Uh, can I, I see Remy? You hear a voice in your mind go, No, no, no. We don't want anyone to leave, do we? Can I tell that it's panic? Um, you don't know, but you're being urged to go deal with it. Okay. How how should I deal with it? With a Approach. sword or with my words? Approach. I'm going to move closer to the spider. All right. You watch as Remy moves closer. Uh, you don't have any... What the, f the fuck is my spider? I know, Mons. You can look through my spells all you want. You won't find anything you useful. You should have said face spider. I, that's a fucking abomination or something. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, that's definitely less conspicuous. Roll a dagger. Throw a dagger at him. Okay. Hey, does an 18 hit you, Connor? With your yeah. spider 18. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. As I, you're for six damage. I, I'm uh, immediately, immediately off the wall, I go... <laughs> <laughs> crash to the ground. And you hear a voice oh. enter your mind, Remy, and go, pretend it was an accident. You were just being thorough in your watch. So he depolymorphed? Yeah, he's now panicking. and he's on the ground now. Yeah, I had one HP. <laughs> Panic, what are you doing? Oh, look, man, it's... Uh, things are getting a little weird and... Just... Yes, you were crawling around as a spider. What are you doing? Yeah. Uh, oh, just, it's, it was an odd, this guy kept wanting to touch my guitar for some reason. Did you and, uh, guitar? Where, are the, where are the other, uh, where are the others? Uh, uh, Greckles is standing guard with Seika, I believe. Literally, uh, like, like, over in a different direction. Like, you can see him. You can see his back, and his back is turned to you currently. Seika's uh, probably looking at Remy right now on the other side of the entrance. Tasco. He was speaking with someone. I'm not sure. He and Borky took off. I don't see Task. You can see Borky, and you can see. Uh, Hi, Frederick. Uh, yeah. As you <laughs> as you look and you don't see them, you hear the voice in your mind and go, "Where did they go? Go find them. It's important that they do not leave." I tell you what. I'll find Task and Borky. Why don't you check in with Greckles? No. And it's... please stop wandering off if you're that afraid. Well, you guys all wandered off without me. You left me sitting there with literal egg on my face. And, and then I had to find up. you and that I threw a Just give me the dagger back. Fine. Here you go. I just toss him the dagger back. <laughs> you owe me. I'm going to go find oh, Task you... and Porky. Oh, you what? <laughs> you killed spider me. Well, <laughs> you as, as you killed shake your head, you see me. Sandstone kind of go, can I try the guitar now? <laughs> Uh, Bosco. I'm the biggest fan. Yes. You, as you walk past Greckles, Greckles, you hear a voice going, "Join him, and make sure your friend stays behind. He could ruin the fun." By which friend is he referring to? Just above Seika. you. Okay. Seika. Yeah, because Seika's stationed with you, so he's saying, mm -hmm. "Ditch Seika, go with, go with, go with Remy again." Oh, uh, hey Remy, you want some company? By all means. Okay. Okay. Seika, go ahead and, and stay there. You know, we, we need to make sure that, uh, well, I did talk about that coalition of elemental planes. It would be good for us to, you know, give them our best first impression. Are any of the other uh, Earth Ganassi standing guard, or was it just us three? On the other side with Remy was uh, Dantine. He was the other one on the other side. Is he, he like still over there? Yeah, he's still over there. He's just kind of looking around. Uh, perhaps that would be better served by speaking with their leader. No, Greg, did you hear a voice go, yes, do that. Go speak with Dantine. Uh, yeah, go, go talk to him. Very well. Then I'll go up and talk to Dantine. 
Task, where are you going? I'm going the far fuck away from this village. Okay. Go ahead for me and make a survival check. 20. As you kind of begin to duck and weave through the stalagmites, something hits your nose. <coughs> the stench of death. As you proceed oh. forward, you begin to see just stalagmites. And similar to the water plane, impaled on every single one is an earth ganasi. I, I speak in my mind, Aos. I, 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 I've never seen anything like this before. This whole place just feels so confined. It, it, now, it, is this some sort of burial rite? They're all in the same position. No, this was the same in the water. This was the same in the water plane. This is the tellings of an. O this is the tellings of an oni. This is a fucking graveyard. Behind you, you hear footsteps approaching. I fucking hide. I book it. Roll a stealth check for me as you hide behind one of the stalagmites. Twenty-five. Greckles, Remy. Perception checks. Is it still dark? It is, yeah, so it's gonna be a flat check. 22? 14. That's persuasion. That's persuasion, buddy. Oh, that's Whoops. persuasion, yeah. Sorry. 24. Woo! Oh, my God. oh my God. As you're hiding, your back is like up against the stalagmite. You hear it. Steps of Greckles and Remy. And you see them, the light barely touching them. Like, their faces are in dark, and you can see the bodies in light. Just slowly turning and scanning the area. And as you kind of suck your breath in, you watch as Greckles kind of comes around. His beak almost brushing up against you as he goes in that kind of stealthy motion, looking around. It's like Alien, but with birds. Yeah, it's like Alien, but with birds. <laughs> You, you watch as Greckles opens his mouth and a slightly smaller Greckles comes out. No, no <laughs> slightly, slightly smaller, but but more realistic. Birth holding face. a punch bowl. <laughs> the smaller one's holding a punch bowl. Uh. But you hold your breath, Task. And Greckles, you kind of lean back and hear a voice go. Your friend is missing. We should be extra. Bring everyone back. It's dangerous. We must um, prepare. Something must be coming. Right? Go. Go now, run! You hear in your minds, both of you. Gonna dash uh, off. Go run. Uh. They were a complete Taff. eye shot of the fucking like graveyard, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, they saw it, and you know, roll a perception check for me. Task. Ooh. Natural. Oh my god. <laughs> you close your eyes as you hear the footsteps approaching. Uh, or the, the footsteps leaving and you... And you open your eyes and you just kind of calm yourself down. Realizing that Greckles and Remy have probably been compromised in some way. As you return... Remy Greckles, Borky can no longer be outside the village. No one could be outside the village. Everyone has to meet up immediately in the center of the village. Um, uh, do we want to do me talking with Dantine? Yes, or... absolutely. They're on their way back, but in their head, this is in their heads being told what to do, essentially, gotcha. not that they're okay. doing it right away. So it's like, that's what they need to do. Uh, yeah, you approach uh, Dantine. Uh, hello. Oh, hello. How is your watch going? Good. The uh, K-Fisher hasn't tried to breach the village. <laughs> yes, that creature is disturbing. Oh, she's um, not the prettiest, but uh, she provides. I suppose as your only food source, it is important to keep her nearby. Yes, and it's quite delicious, and he kind of pats his stomach. <laughs> Sega's smile kind of fades for a second before returning. Uh, tell me, your resolution of the Oni incursion, has that soured your people at all? Morale is low. 
the loss of numbers has impacted us uh, quite harshly, but we've endured before and we will continue to endure. What of you? I'm fine. Well, I mean, we're like family. If we were attacked, I'm sure you were attacked as well. Or was it yes. only us? The plane of fire was besieged just the same as the rest of the other planes. That is why I was sent on my mission. I'm seeking to put together a bit of a, a force amongst all of the planes, a united front against the Oni incursion. Well, you chose the best place to start. This is not my first location. I have already visited two of the other planes. Roll an insight check. Two of your brothers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 20! Oh, no! Fuck yeah! You watch as the corner of Dan Teen's mouth just slaws down. Like a string on his cheek was dropped. And it happens for half a second, and you notice it's like it's scrambled back up into place. And you're like, wait. Have you had much interaction with the other planes? I know, I know that uh, Vanguard Jade and I, or not I, I know that Vanguard Jade has had some interaction with the fire plane, but I know not of how you communicate with the other planes, if at all. We are not of the position to do so. We are just a humble little village. Kind of laughs nervously. Roll another insight check because of that natural 20. More I do not tell them. Now gas them quickly. 16. Gas yes. them <laughs> quickly. Gas them quickly. Mm. I am called Brain. <laughs> you haven't realized it until now, but Dantine moves too much. A little bit too much. And in ways that make no sense. At first you thought it was a friendly disposition. He moves like a puppet on strings. He smiles at you and he turns and he goes, how, how do you communicate? I mean, clearly you're here, so communication must have failed, huh? Mm. <laughs> I respond to that one. <laughs> the more shoot. Mm. Not failure as such. As to how we communicate, in person seems to be the best route these days. Rather slow, given things, but understandable. A more direct interaction would be best. I assume you said you came from the other planes. Which one? <clears throat> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I'm trying to think about what I said. I said this wasn't my first destination. You said it wasn't my first because he asked, like, oh, you picked But I didn't clarify how many others I went to. Exactly, which is why he's asking. Uh, okay. I came here directly from the plane of water. Oh, <laughs> plane of water. I was wondering why some of you came in looking so damp. <laughs> he kind of laughs and gives you a smack, but the smack isn't hard. It's like soft. It was very uncomfortable. Roll another insight check. Nine! <laughs> okay, you're not sure about anything. You're just kind of like, ha ah. <laughs> ha ha ha! I'm in danger. Yeah, no, starting to feel that way. Yeah. <laughs> uh How how is um how is the water ganasi there? Much like your village, their numbers were decimated. It was not a pleasant experience. 
You watch as the cheeks on either side kind of slowly droop into a frown. And the more you notice it, the more unnatural it, the once it clicks, the more unnatural it seems. And it really runs. You're a fire ganasi, but it runs that chill down your back. Mm. Man, I sure hope your two friends find your other friend. I hate to have him run off and fall into danger. They never mentioned why they were leaving. Oh, <laughs> did they now? <laughs> hey. I, <laughs> I don't know if I should just attack this guy or what. WWDD, what would Denka do? Um, do what they say. No, go away. <laughs> you ain't my Denka. No. <laughs> Dinky commands you. <laughs> Wait a minute. His name's not Dinky. <laughs> Buy me a bag of jalopy flavored chips. <laughs> jalopy? Jalopy. Um, do, 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 do. I don't know what to do, do. Pins. Okay. Uh, we're in sight of the whole village, right? Yeah. Currently, like... you see Panic walking over to Musician Kid. So there's Musician Kid, Blacksmith, and uh, Gem Cutter, but far off is Borky and Minor Guy. Are we too far off, too? You guys are making your way back from the tunnel at this right. point. Right. Yeah. Can from I do a perception there. check specifically to see if anyone is looking in our direction? Sure, yeah, go ahead and make a perception check. 14. Do you ever see that movie by the guy who did Hot Fuzz where it's like the end of the world or whatever it's called? At World's End? At World's End. Do you remember when like they walk out and like everyone, like all the people are staring at them? <laughs> yes. Oh no. <laughs> it's yeah. the diner all over again. They're going to ask me if I've ever had stuffed mushrooms before. <laughs> you do notice that as you look up and look, you do notice that all of them break their eye contact and go back to what they were doing, as if like the strings are quickly pulled. But every it's clear that everyone was everyone watching. Everyone was watching you. Would I have noticed that? Uh, roll insight on the kid. Insight on the kid! <laughs> My biggest fan! 18! <laughs> you do notice he looks off randomly for no reason, but you're not aware of what the conversation is on the other end of the of the of the village. Can I um, can I can I gauge where he's looking when he gauges off, glances off? You look over and you currently see Seika talking to uh, Dantine at the moment. Okay. Well, it seems that guard duty is going rather well. I suppose I should get back to my station. Yes, it was a, a pleasure talking to you. Yes, and... If you'd like to speak later on about my offer of joining forces. We'll consider it. I'll kind of nod his head and uh, head back to his station. Mm, don't worry. Significantly Just one more, more day. alert than usual. One more day. Be wild. He, fucking, he lumbers off like Team America World Police style. <laughs> 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 do, 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 the arms uh, swing. Seika. Yeah. Roll a perception check for me. Cool. Twelve. Twelve. Okay, you don't see anything. I'm not great at eyes. <laughs> Panic. Yeah. You, the kid looks up to you and goes, can I try now? <laughs> Goddamn Mark. Um, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> <laughs> no, not you. I'm talking about the kid. He is a Mark. Oh, is he? Yeah. His name is Sandstone. Not yeah, Mark. I'm pretty sure that's pretty far away from Mark there, Connor. It's okay, Connor. I got you. It's a wrestling term. I got it. <laughs> uh... uh Fuck. Uh, what do I do with this little shit? Um, 
Oh. So you you know what? <clears throat> I uh -huh, you understand. See, I have more than one fantastic little instrument here, and I pull out my flute. Okay. Oh, he kind of eyes kind of widen. I, I press the digitation to make it a little bit more shiny and sparkly. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, you blow it. You blow into this end, you plug your fingers with the holes, and then you and then you blow. He watches he goes to reach for it and then stops. I don't think I'd be very good at that instrument. <laughs> oh come on. You'll give it a try. I really want to try the, the thing on your back. Please, you promised. Did promise you. Hey, what's that over there? <laughs> oh, God. Roll a deception check. <laughs> please, please. 21. Oh, my God. He doesn't look. And then, like, after, like, a half second, he slowly turns and then turns back and goes, what was it? I thought I saw, like, I saw, I saw a task over there or something. I don't know. My little red buddy, you know? I wonder what he was doing over there. Huh. Well, <laughs> he's not there, so he kind of raises both of his hands up. Fuck this kid. <laughs> uh, uh... Gosh, you know... Don't let just anyone touch the guitar. Show me what you can do with this flute to see if you are worthy of touching catharsis. All right, Greckles and again. Remy. At this point, you guys have made your way back past, uh, past Porky and back into the village. And as you creep back, you hear a bunch of whispering in your head. Uh, Remy, you hear a, the fiery one knows. We don't have enough to occupy all of you for now. And the red one is gone. This game is getting rather annoying. You hear a voice in your head, guide and go, Don't let the boy play the flute. Stop it now. By the boy means panic, or yeah, the one he's handing off a flute to the boy. Oh, hey, panic! Oh, Greckles! I was wondering where you guys went. How's it going? Oh yeah, it, it, you're doing good. I was just talking to my boy here, Sandstone. He was just gonna show me what he was about to do with this flute, huh? Oh well, you know. Hi, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. I yeah, I'll give it a try. And he takes the flute. Uh you as as he says that, you feel like like this weird groping in your mind, Greckles. Almost as if someone's going through like the file folder of your skill set. Uh <laughs> I mentioned and... it. Oh, and he was looking flute through your character cards? sheet in your brain. <laughs> no, he's going through a filing seen... cabinet. Have you guys seen the movie Dreamcatcher? <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> like that's what I'm envisioning right now. <laughs> As Mr. You, Gray just running through your mind library. You watch as uh, Sandstone brings the flute to his lips. Greckles, I need you to make a mimicry attempt for me. I want you to roll a deception check. Uh, whatever is uh, whatever is necessary to do a, a, a mimicry. Um, where is that? Freaking, there's the D. I'm sorry. Oh, natural 20. Oh, you Can gotta it? be fucking kidding me. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he actually is playing the flute, and it sounds weirdly really good, even though his other instrument playing is shit. Oh, wow. Yeah, you're doing really well. <laughs> yeah. And he kind of pulls it out. Thanks, he hands it back to you. Yeah, no problem. You hear a voice in your mind, Greckles go. You not, they don't play instruments very well. Very good. What did you say, Panic? Rock Genasi don't play instruments very well. Is that what you just say out to him? No. That's what I'm thinking. Out loud. Not out loud. In my head. Okay. I'm in thinking your head. Out loud. Okay. 
I'm thinking out loud right here, but not in game. You I are, don't say shit. You are legitimately shocked that he played it. You're like, oh. oh. Okay. That, was pretty, that was pretty good. Yeah. I, uh, I proved myself. I'm a decent musician. Please. <laughs> he holds out his hands. Fuck. Fuck. As far as you're concerned, nothing about this is sketch. Uh, except for playing really well, that's pretty sketch. Maybe he's got hidden talent in a different instrument. Uh, that he just, uh, just in uh, the band director put him in percussion, but he should have been with Woodwinds all along. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Connor. <sighs> okay. All right, so so it's gonna be a little bit strange. Uh, why don't we we were there was like a band room or something, right? Like we like we were in before. No, just my rock. He slaps the rock next to him. Just your rock. All right, let's go sit down by the rock. Okay, you gotta go over to his instrument, the crash and bash, and he sits down. Yeah. All right, and I um I. Unsling. Uh, <clears throat> this ain't gonna be good. Okay. Uh, <laughs> crackles in my mirror staring right at me. God damn it. I don't know anything. But I know this kid is weird. So I'm gonna he fucking. He's just eager. He's got the same sort of energy as like Scarlet or some equivalent. <laughs> but he played really well while everyone else played like shit. That's. He's the only one who plays I... music. <sighs> come on, Connor. Come on. Get to spell magic on him in fifth level. Okay. okay. I hand him. Versus. Okay. But the second something weird happens, or if tells me not to, that's coming right back to me. His eyes light up with a glow, and he immediately brings his hands to the guitar. Um, he strums the chords. He doesn't know how to make keys, so he's just, like, strumming it, um, like you were, and it makes the most god-awful noise. Um, uh, I'm going like, it's, it's... counter-charming by harmonizing with it while he's playing. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You try and give him pointers and the guy's, like, snapping your fingers. Uh, after about five minutes, he's, like, smiling. He's like, oh, that was really fun. Thank you. And he hands it back to you. Uh, I'm talking with it in my head. What's up? Empty, unoccupied, unattended, soulless. <laughs> great, great playing, buddy. Hey, <laughs> You know what? Maybe I'll let you play a little bit more after, uh, I don't know, maybe a little bit later tonight, huh? I need to go talk to my friends a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah. You did say, Sandstone, you're going to be someone someday. Let me tell you what. I can't wait to grow up and be a big, famous musician from the Earth Plane. Yeah. I look forward to seeing your name in lights, buddy. And I sort of nudge his shoulder. Yeah. You do. And, like, you touch it, and it kind of, like, moves with your hand. You're like, uh, okay. Uh, and then you back away. As you do, Seika, you feel a hand on your shoulder. Remy. Mm hmm We should talk to Seika privately. Seika. Yes. A word. Certainly. I'm going to take him off into one of the corners. You take him mm -hmm. to the guest room, specifically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. As we're leaving, I'm kind of glancing back towards uh, uh, Dantine. Are you sure I should be leaving my guard post? Shouldn't be a problem. That was to Remy. Remy. Yeah, Remy. <clears throat> Remy. Shouldn't yes. be a problem. Sorry, say one more time. Discord's being a butt. In your head. Hmm. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, it should not be a problem. In fact, why doesn't why don't why not have Greckles come along too? I'll tell you what, uh, Greckles. Yeah, what's up? Could you come with us, please? Sure. That would leave. The village unguarded. What Dantine's happened to... uh, in your head, uh, Greckles. Dantine's been here the whole time, so far. The extra help might not be as necessary as we thought. 
I mean, Dantine's been around. I think we're going to be okay, especially if it's just for a quick talk. I'm going to yeah. cast message on, message on Greckles. Okay. Yo, something's like kind of strange here, don't you think? Like, like Remy is pulling people into side rooms and, and stuff. He's like a little paranoid. Wait, was that 25 words? Shit, I should have been counting. Fuck. <laughs> it's not sending, it's message. Well, it's still 25 words, I think. Uh, it's no, it's not. You can, uh... Oh. It's a message, it's like a sentence. So you okay, said, like... Yeah. I, yeah. Kind of weird, huh? <laughs> you should check on it for me. <laughs> Shreckles shrugs. <laughs> so, uh... You don't get to read his mind or anything like that. You hear uh, the voice go, the spellcaster, he should be the one we're killing first. Tell him everything's fine. You just want a private talk with your friend. Panic is, panic is back. I don't, know, I don't know what you're talking about. We're, we're just waiting around for Jade. Everything seems fine. I'm just going to go talk. It's no big deal. Insight check. Can you insight? Oh, with disadvantage because you can't see him. <laughs> 17 deception mm -hmm. records 23 buddy <laughs> you say um, so uh, i'm gonna go try and find borky and task uh greckles no that's a bad idea stay here why do you need to do that they're they're fine are they? I mean, I, I can I can I look in the tunnel and see where where yeah, everybody Borky's, is. Borky's gleefully mining right now. You don't Borky. see Task though. Where's Task? Uh, where is he? Uh, uh Remy. He, Remy. He sort of... he, he's. Oh, sorry. Did you want to say something? Is Borky? Yeah. Uh, he sort of. He's he's back there doing something probably. Uh. Feeling, uh, feeling like at home. He's getting comfortable back there in all these caves. Uh, Remy. Mm -hmm. Tass doesn't like to be bothered. You know that, Panic. Panic, you know how Tass can be. I would just leave him alone. Yeah, I guess you're right. Um, you guys, you I was going that. to incite yep. both the fact that both Greckles and uh, Remy, who were both eager to help with guard duty, are now saying, nah, it'll be fine, is a little okay. Yeah, absolutely. Concerning. Go ahead, roll insight checks on both of them. Natural 20. Oh, oh my fuck, you guys. talking shit. <laughs> okay, just in case, Greckles, Remy, deception checks. It's a 13. 10. Ten oh. Cast. Dinka's dinky. Remy is roomy. They've been compromised. <laughs> that was the best way you could have given me the oh, worst fucking news. Fucking chat's gonna have a field day with those. <laughs> Denka is dinky. Remy is if... roomy. <laughs> oh. We have a situation here. <laughs> we are not pickles here. Seika, if they get you into this room alone, you are dead. You are fucking dead. They're either going to kill you or do something worse. You need to fight now. Okay. Roll a perception check for me uh, with advantage, Seika. Uh, 17. As you're, like, realizing this, you look up to the ceiling and you see creeping in the dark of the stalactites, long appendages crawling over the ceiling, slowly watching what you're doing. How high up is it? Very high, about, I would say, mm, 60 feet, if not more. Okay, is it? Hang on, I'm looking at numbers here. <laughs> this is fun. This was a fun uh, session for me. This sucks. Is I, there I a hate, wall nearby? I hate stock medicating. <laughs> is is there a wall nearby? 
Uh, there is the the boulder house behind you that is a, a, a against a wall. Does it, does it reach to the ceiling of the cavern? No, nothing reaches to the ceiling of this cavern. Okay. Mm, great. Okay. Well. Uh, but you do see something crawling within sixty feet, and it's like right above. Yeah, sixty feet is outside of my attack zone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, and without a wall, I can't get closer to it. Uh, so... Is he still 30 feet away from me? Uh, Seika? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes, I would say at this point he is still. Okay. He's within range of counter charm, so... It is okay. un... Unru- it, it, uh, it doesn't matter. Um... <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> I am going to, uh... I'm going to sweep the leg of Remy. Okay. Oh, please hit Grickles instead. I can't... I can't hit him first. I have to hit you first. Damn it. Um, Because Seika knows your fighting style. All right. They had a duel. Yep. 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 Um, Is there anything specific about trip in 5th edition? I would treat this as... uh, This might have to be a bit homebrewed, but I will say acrobatics versus athletics for Remy, I'd say. I'd, I'd say that's a shove to knock prone, but that's just me. I would use acrobatics because he's a monk, though. He's trying to do something acrobatic. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. So instead here's of, my you know. acrobatics. 22. Nice. 22, Remy. baby. Remy, roll in athletics. That's oh, oh, Suck it, Mark. Damn it. Suck it. <laughs> oh, my God. 23 with a net. Come on. Hey, Mark, did you try to play me today? No, I'm, you think I'm enjoying this? I'm going to whoop your ass. Let's this roll is the one time I don't want to fight you. I want to fight you. A bunch of things happened. As you go to sweep the leg, Seika, you, can, you hit the greaves on Remy's legs, and you're like, shit. As you look up, you hear a voice in your minds, Greckles and Remy, kill him. And that's where we're going to end the session for tonight. Oh, God. Oh, good night. Oh. Oh. Goodbye, Austin. Goodbye, Austin. Goodbye, Austin. Bye, Austin. I hate Why to be did you absolute... have to roll higher than me, you bastard? I hate to be an absolute sourpuss, but I actually need to go. No, it's fine. No, it's okay. fair enough. Tell the people where they can find you before you head off. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba, Monster Hunter Rise, and weirdly enough, uh, Fallout 76. Uh, more videos on both channels. Thanks for- you guys, by the way, guys, good job not metagaming shit. I knew this would be really, really difficult, but, you know. I mean, making... where's the fun if we did? Yeah. I, I, I cast a spell at level 5 on him, and it didn't seem to do anything, so I had to I had to hand over Catharsis. Although I was expecting him to keep it or some shit. No, he's a dumb kid. So, he just wanted to play so, with I it. I mean, you could just so rub it. I'm really you. confused. Oh. oh where's that line? Oh. I'm, fucking, oh. I'm sniping from the fucking rocks, my dude. <laughs> Oh, All right, y'all. I I've got to go. Sorry. Uh, I will yeah. Be oh. Thanks yeah. for playing. Thanks for being a good sport about being mind yeah. controlled as well. Both you and Bosco. Dinky I know. I know lovely. that's. I know it's difficult when you lose agency over your character because of like mind shit. But you guys did a brilliant job, and I'm very proud. Yeah, of you, you guys played into it job. very well, both of you. Yeah. You All right. I gotta run, guys. Sorry. Bye. All right. Bye. Take care. Later. Bye, Gaijin. Oh my gosh. Zeno. Uh, Zeno. <laughs> Hold me. I'm. I can't. I'm like 120 feet away from the entire scenario. Well, then at least I'm holding you in spirit. Well, at least tell the people where they can find you. You can find me over here, not being mind controlled by a by a psychic <laughs> spider monster. Uh, you can also find me over at twitchtv zeno where cards will happen sooner rather than later. Uh, indie games will happen, but. The more exciting news is the fact that I'm working on my next book, and it's going to be, uh, for anyone who remembers the one-off that with a bunch of kobolds, Aloysius is actually going to be the main star of this. It's called Aloysius's, Gu- yep, Aloysius's Guide to Social Acceptance. It is a extra 13 monstrous player races based off of monsters across D&D uh, from, from Edition 2 to Edition 5. And they are as close as they possibly could get to their uh, monster stats without being game breaky. So 
I can't wait to show that off real soon. If you just check my Twitter at CZ Backlash, I actually have been posting little bits of it. Like, uh, my my favorite new thing, uh, there's a Noel, a Noel Bard. Uh, writing his name was very, very fun, and also writing that Aloysius hates bards. <laughs> that was also fun, too. <laughs> so it's the, it's the best fucking, like, scenario for the entire thing. His name is, and I quote, Crunge Flemskull. Oh my god. There there Glam he is soul. a he is a knoll from the College of Glamour and everyone in the church that uh Aloysius works for is now using his name as a verb. He he hates his life. <laughs> That's me. Buy, buy my stuff on DM's Guild in the meantime. <laughs> I guess chill. That's me. Oh, sorry, I, 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 my brain is short circuiting. <laughs> Let's go. Where can they find you, you malicious bastard? You can find me at Bosco DM both Instagram and Twitter, and then right here on twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco. Yeah, sounds like what an imposter would say. That's kind of sus. It's a little boom, do, 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 do. a little muggles. <laughs> uh, Mark Allen Jr. Where can they find you? You can find me lamenting about luck on twitter.com slash Mark Allen Jr. Regretting my decisions here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming and crying into the sweet, comforting arms of my chonky cat bunny at on Instagram at chonk for life. Uh, I'm going to go die. <laughs> <laughs> Mazi, where can they find you? Being an absolute asshole over at, uh, <laughs> at Monty Blue on Twitter. Um, and twitch.tv forward slash Monty Blue tomorrow. Water dungeon, water, mm -hmm. water temple. Um, I have faith in you. <laughs> I I, I at least one really cool moment in the water in the water temple when it ends. <laughs> <laughs> there are two really cool moments in the water. <laughs> Oh, um, but uh, yeah, so that'll be tomorrow, and then Sunday is Monster Hunter Rise with Connor and friends. Yeah, da, 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 da. <laughs> and then on Twitter, uh, I have Protogen updates, I have a bunch of stuff going on, and then uh, Tuesday, you can catch me uh, on Arcadum with an all DMs group uh, at uh, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm Tori, I'm a, a Beastmaster Ranger. And I, I'm, I'm really leaning into the animal tamer sort of shtick. So definitely check that out. It's really fun. We had our first episode. It was really funny and really enjoyable. So definitely check that out. Yeah. Had a couple of funny moments that I greatly enjoyed. Uh, you can find Takahata 101, uh, who, who unfortunately had to had to step out for uh, for uh, about they had to step out. Um, you can find him on uh, Twitter and Twitch at Takahata101. Uh, be sure to check out his uh, VTubing. Uh, he has a virtual bar where he hangs out with a bunch of his chat and other VTubers uh, hanging out doing their VTuber thing. He's also playing some Evil Geniuses too. Also, be sure to check out uh, MNW, Multiverse Nexus Wrestling, his uh, WWE 2K19 show that he's been putting on for, I think, like three years now. It's crazy. Uh... Other than that, uh, yeah, I think. Oh no, uh, he is also a part of uh, one of Arcadum's groups here. Uh, I forget what that one is called, what it's about, but uh, he'll be joining the likes of uh, Moist Critical, Video Game Donkey, Edward Bosco, yeah. um, and who else? Bosco was in there. Uh, Ludwig, I think. Ludwig, yes. Uh, so this is it's gonna be a crazy ride when when, when episode one gets off that's that's for dang sure uh, so be sure to check them out there at twitch.tv slash is it glorious arcadum or just arcadum it's just arcadum just arcadum twitch.tv slash arcadum uh yeah and as for me you can find me on twitter twitch and youtube.com slash distortion devil i stream tuesdays fridays saturdays and sundays tuesdays i play uh tabletop wargaming with my buddy Luke, we play Age of Sigmar, uh, Warhammer 40k Kill Team, and Warhammer 40k 9th Edition uh, intermittently. We played some 9th Edition last week. It was uh, it was his Death Guard again versus uh, fan-picked Tau on my end, and boy howdy. 
they are broken. <laughs> Uh, I'll just say that. Not really my play style, but uh, <laughs> definitely interesting. I, I can see why people would like them. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> chuckling in the back. Friday is Friday Funhouse, or I just play whatever I want with who, whoever decides to join in. Uh, probably going to be playing some Valheim with uh, Boobs McBalrog and Lanny Pator. Uh That's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Saturday, I'm playing through the entire Yakuza series. Uh, we're on Yakuza 3 Remastered right now, and uh, boy, it sure is 2009 again. <laughs> uh, the, uh, oh boy, I think if, if any of them needed a Kiwami, it was 3. <laughs> <laughs> and it didn't get the treatment, but uh, it, I'm not suffering through it. Uh, it's it's not it's not like Bayonetta 1, unfortunately. Uh, or fortunately, I suppose. Um, but yeah, uh, it's an interesting time. Uh, Hawaiian T, uh, Hawaiian T-shirt Kiryu is a sight to behold. Uh, and Sunday, of course, I'm playing Monster Hunter. Uh, also be sure to check out Dead House Sonata. Their link will be up there in a second. Six-player action RPG where you play as the dead to fight the living. Spiritual successor to Legacy of Cain. You already know what it is. Check it out. I believe in it, and you can believe in it too. Post more uh, fun. Yeah. Also, be sure to uh, check out my DMs Guild, where I just released both the Predator Rogue and the Passion Domain Cleric uh, subclasses. Uh, I do appreciate uh, ratings and reviews. They help with the visibility of my products. Uh, and also, your reviews help me to uh, better cater my products towards my audience. Uh, and I'm hoping you'll be excited for the Hellfire Soul Sorcerer that I'm currently developing, and it is nutty. I'll just say that. There's a lot of really esoteric mechanics in here, but hopefully it will make for a coherent and enjoyable experience for you all. And aside from that, uh, I'd like to thank our wonderful sponsor of this episode, uh, the roles that uh, corrupt the Die Hard Dice! Die Hard Dice! Die Hard Dice! Uh, Die Hard Dice uh, is the perfect scapegoat for uh, blaming for Greckles. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Die Hard Dice uh, has a lot of wonderful polymer and metal uh, dice products in any shape, size, and colors you could possibly want. Uh, highly stylized pieces. Uh, favorite is the Dracona set that looks like dragon scales. Huh. So oh, good. Oh, they're so good, dude. They always sell out, but they're so good. They're so good. Um, yeah. Uh, also have a bunch of carrying cases and dice trays to keep both your dice and your rolling surfaces safe for years to come. Uh, they're sleek, compact, uh, portable, and uh, they snap together magnetically, so you don't have to deal with uh, those those uh, weird weird stub buckle things. Uh, yeah, anymore. the old the old ones were pretty good, but getting rid They're of those right, but... made it a bit sleek, which is really nice. Oh yeah, and way I more compact. Would be really weak, but they're actually really really strong. They'll actually yeah. attach to the uh, the metal cases of my dice stuff, so I had to like pull them apart. Like that's how strong they are. So it's really good. And if this at all sounds up your alley, uh, then go to dieharddice.com, and if you use the affiliate code, expect APR. Uh, you won't get financing, but you will get 10% off your order price when you go to dieharddice.com uh, for the month of April. Uh, and I believe with that, it's time to read off some bits to head us out for the night. Before before we do that, I do want to note off one thing someone has said in the chat for the title. Two birds, one stone plane. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, that's perfect. Two birds, one stone plane? Or just two birds, one stone? What do you think? Uh, no, two birds, one plane. How about that? I think they're trying too hard. The, the other one was Dinky and Rumi was another one. Dinky but that, 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 that'll, that'll, that that'll take gives away. away. I, that yeah. was, I like two birds, one stone. Yeah, that could work, yeah. I like that a Assuming lot, Assuming it actually. hasn't been used already, yeah. It I has. Don't no. Used. No, it hasn't. It. it has? It hasn't. Oh, it hasn't. Okay, cool. Good. Good. We'll use oh, that Oh, my one. gosh. That was really good. Whoever came up with that. That was yeah, Citric. Really good. Hey. Well, 
I guess I'll read off some bits. Uh, do you remember where we left off, Bosco, on bits? Uh, look for one that's like 1600. That was during the break, and it was, I think, one after that one. Okay. Uh, Disco Tech Priest, thinking of the 500 bits. Yep, that's uh, it. One, on a more current note, looking for forward to Panic finally getting some kick-ass Bloodstone ear studs. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brutus Maximu, thank you for the 12 months. Title, Birds Fall fall Prey. Uh, Magic Ninja Go, I miss Kirby Amora, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, shout outs to the Collie heads who were getting my references. Now, who ate all the pies? I don't know what that means. Now, Ark, don't you eat that pie? Oh my god. Oh my god. No, it all came rushing back when you said that. <laughs> <laughs> who do you want like to a... take me for? <laughs> I just had one of those I remember everything moments. <laughs> the prophecy. Uh, the prophecy is fulfilled. Uh, Weejit, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, thank you all for the show. I look forward to it every week. Dark Star Dara, thank you for the 200 bits. I wish I could stay for the rest of the stream, but I gotta get up early for work. Thank you, Unexpectables, for getting me back into d and I was convinced I didn't enjoy it until I listened and played again. Take the rest of my bits, and I'll see you in the VOD. Thank you, Dark Star Dara, and thank you for the 200 bits as well. Dark Pie Dark. Rounded, thank you for the 300 bits. <laughs> if Borky lost in an alternate universe version of himself in a ritualistic combat to get a mate. Yeah. Would that be bad grouse with Takahata? I don't know. Uh, but thank you, I guess, for the 300 bits. Uh, Dr. Dank Memes PhD, thank you for the 500 bits. Radis Voidheart, thank you for the 100 bits. Kitty Cat Gundam, thank you for the 5 bits. No, thanks, guys. I want my mochi now. <laughs> Lurker504, think of the 400 bits. Came in late. Off to the VOD I go. Art and Salt, thank you for the 100 bits. I want to get off Mr. Bones Wild Ride. <laughs> nope. You're in Mr. Bones Wild Ride for the... Oh, for my the God. Taka Nub, thank you for the seven months of Prime Subbage. Episode title, Into the Spider's Web. Ooh, I think we had one like that in the past. Yeah, unfortunately. Gamers till sunrise. Thank you for the one hundred <laughs> one thousand five hundred wow. bits. I've yet to actually hear this one. If you evolved from a oh Jesus, okay, hang on. Say it. Thank I you, will. buddy. You read the puns. That's how uh, this works. Thank you, buddy. You read pun. <laughs> uh, I've actually yet to hear this one. Uh, if you've evolved from a trap inch to fight the live and. <laughs> Be dead house by Brava. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! Who who did that? Who 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 made that? Who said that? Uh, gamers till the sunrise. That's plus excellent. Eight. Plus eight. Fucking love that. Thank you. Yes. Fabulous. Of I all I the felt... niche Pokemon to pick, like the bra brilliant. I'm so Seriously, happy that. that's I think really I felt good. My eye dry out reading that. <laughs> And also, art. thank you, gamers, till sunrise for the seven <laughs> months. Blackwood Fair, thank you for the 420 bits. It's Tinky Winky. Oh, no. Did oh, you no. Oh, we're missing. <laughs> Naughty Nunu. -nu. It's just the Five Nights at Freddy's soundtrack in the background. Oh, like I... Tass, fucking Tass shows up and it starts playing the music box. Hey guys, thank you for the 1,000 bits. So, Monty, watch a lot of WandaVision lately? I don't watch TV because I'm boring. So, no. I'm boring too. Fair Dude, when, people, when people come out of the woodwork and like, hey, did you base it off of this thing that I'm like, I don't know? And I'm like, I don't know. What th no, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Do you remember this obscure episode of Star Trek? Did you base it off of that? No! That's not, that's not true, though. We watch Funny Animal Show, which is technically TV. I guess, yeah. <laughs> In a way. TV on yeah. YouTube. Hmm, who'd have thought? Uh, Zen Lita, thank you for the 300 bits. Uh, episode title, Cave Story. Also, <laughs> Oh, man. <sighs> Sorry, I just checked my Twitter and someone said, I absolutely hated tonight's episode. 10 out of 10. Can't wait for more. <laughs> uh, Maverick the Warlock, thank you for the 500 bits. Title idea, Deceptions in the Dark. Ooh. 
Kitty Cat Gundam, thank you for the uh, eight bits. Mark versus Ed, yes, please. Oh, God, here we go. Chris Cody, thank you for the five bits. Some Oni is just pulling the strings. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, this ain't gonna be good. This ain't gonna be good. Uh, Blackwing Hellkite, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Episode title, No Strings Attached. And Anonymous Chair, thank you for the 3,000 bits. Oh, my goodness. Oh, thank thank you. you, Anonymous Chair. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Spooky Ghost. Gallon. Yeah, Spooky Ghost. Woo! Ghost Sage Ghost. Dallin, thank you for the 300 bits. Episode title, Bedrock Body Snatchers. Ooh. That, that gives, gives away, away too much. It gives away too much. It's good, though. Magic Ninja good. Go, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, the Makuta has gotten them. Shout outs to the Kali heads who understand the reference, by the way. Clean. It must all be cleaned. Papusa Monkey, thank you for the 300 bits. Titled Bedrock Bamboozles. <laughs> Made to Barry, thank you for the 200 bits. Haha, uh, <laughs> thanks. Don't think I'll be able to sleep tonight. Precious Bird Boys. Magic Ninja Go, thank you for the 100 bits next week. Uh, we get to see if Seika becomes Makuta Bones or not. Hail Denmark. Uh, uh, oh, I almost I almost said Kanye time. Kane time. Thank you for the 500. <laughs> Kanye time. It's Kanye time. No. <laughs> <laughs> I shall not become the Edward Bosco. Uh, uh, the real treasure is the is Brian con is the Brian wait the Brian controlling spiders the brain can I'm assuming brain. Uh, we met along the way. Uh, isn't that right, not evil guy Bosco? <laughs> Magic Ninja Go. Uh, Magic Ninja Go, thank you for the 100 bits. We need to find o uh, Onua to save the Onu Matoran. And for those that get the reference, hail Denmark. I'm, I'm completely lost on these references. Yeah, I'm, so I'm, gonna I'm not going to lie. I'm sorry, uh, it's over my brain. Thank you for the 100 bits, though. Uh, Gauze 21, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, I got my $10, and I regret it. And finally, iGrim21, thank you for the nine months in a row. Hi, crew. How's it going? <laughs> Spiders. <laughs> Spiders. She's, Solly better... <laughs> She's going to message me in the middle of the fight. Hey, just checking in. It's just... Ah, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> fuck, it's fire! It's just a, like, a long, unhinged stream, and like Solly just like is like... And like, <laughs> like Quarian looks and goes, "Hey, Sally, how's it going? Not good, not and good at all." The response well, is like you, a key count? smash, so her response is just the letter K. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, okay, so now I answer me this, Bonnie. Do you accept the entire key mash as one word? <laughs> I'll, think, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. <laughs> is there a character limit on the sending? <laughs> It's 140 characters, obviously. <laughs> the, the whole message is, FUCKING SPIDER! <laughs> uh, well, that's it for the best. Yeah, well, we did it. Good job, guys. We did it, spiders. I can't wait for nothing to go bad next week. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, next week's gonna be fun. Oh, I get to shoot me oh, a fucking spider. God. Is it gonna Let's be go. fun? Not for you. Yeah, for me, yeah, though, no, it's, gonna be it's great. definitely not gonna be fun for me. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna die. Um, I don't. If we go to to Therapod, I'm scared. Spoilers might happen today. Uh, we have uh, Octo who's playing GTA Five. We also have Rabbit who's playing golf with your friends. I'm gonna do a rabbit. I think Rab would be best. I I would love to raid Therapod right now, but I'm just scared people would spoil stuff. Yeah. This is the week you don't want to. Yeah, I think this is the one week you don't want to. Let's go to Rabbit. Well, we'll already raid. There's no strings attached to me is kind of a good one. There are no strings attached. There are no strings on me. There are no strings on me. You feel threatened, Bosco? No. All right. He doesn't, he doesn't <laughs> care. No All right. Yeah, here, guys. Bye, everybody. See you next time. Bye. Spiders. Strings on. Spider. <laughs>